Hey everybody, Tyrody here, and welcome back to some more Wildlands. So, I want to apologise, obviously, if you don't know, I have been suffering with bronchitis this week. Um, I've been on antibiotics, because I want to try and get it cleared up as quick as possible, so I've been really, really tired. I mean, there's been a couple of days where I've slept like 16 hours. I, I do sound a bit groggy now. I have done it all week. Uh, I'll be off of them next week and I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. It's just obviously I keep the course with these antibiotics to make sure it's all cleared up. Uh, but yeah, next week I'm off of them. So things will restore to normal. But I thought, yeah, I'm not feeling too bad. So we're throwing a uh, cheeky little Wildlands stream today as I do want to get on with some bits. I've done some bits off camera, but it's about as much as I can do off camera, if that makes any sense. So uh, let's head on in and I'll show you what's been happening. So obviously last Wildland stream we did a explore stream. Uh, previously to that we did our little shop. Uh, I made a few changes to it. Obviously I did post some pictures of the sort of finished outer outside of it um, onto Twitter. Um, definitely, definitely go check it out. It looks pretty cool. Well, you don't need to anyway, <laughs> because we're going to be working on it today. Uh, but I did. I've been doing some bits and pieces around the place. Wow, it's actually really, really loud. Let me, let me turn that down a little bit. So I finally got around to finishing off the pier. I had a change of heart with the bigger pier, doing all the underneath. Uh, I did some kind of just beams just look like it's fun and finished off this one I actually need to move these forward to the end because i forgot to put the little end piece on here uh i also did some little houses now i've pretty much copied and pasted these houses i built one and then just copied and pasted it elsewhere because they don't really need to look different they're just house buildings very very basic very sort of viking-esque with the little sort of platform where the bed and that would be um, if we get time today, we're, we'll start filling some of these up. But I pasted one over here and then two over there. So I think that'd be it for the just the bog standard houses. Don't really think we need any more than that. Um, some things to think of. It's actually really dark, so it's hard to see. Let me go. Oh God, let me turn the sound effects down. I forgot that. Super, super loud with the thingy on. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice peace and quiet. Um, so I need to put some fields and stuff around here. Uh, similar to this and then we actually need to fill them with stuff uh, and we're going to do a farmhouse I believe as we said about doing it over this way over here you can kind of see where I'm sort of pointing around that way so in the uh, sort of toss up between the editor and by hand I kind of like built this area up and carved it out um, it's actually the first time using the editor, but it's actually, it's fairly easy, fairly easy. Uh, and later, I want to maybe start, maybe putting a pond and sort of a little sitting area down here, just so we got something else just to fill up the town a bit. But yeah, this is the shop area, the big shop. I also changed this. I didn't like the front panel bit because it was an uneven number and we didn't get a really good design on it. I left the side, the designs on the side the same because I thought that looked kind of cool. But on the front, I just changed it up. Uh, and today we're going to be filling it up because it is bare bones inside. Absolutely bare bones. I think I did the stairs and that was about it just so I could actually figure out where I wanted the roof, um, the ceilings to go and the floors for the other thing. Um, also had an idea of maybe walling this area off and then we can have a door here and we can have a, like a lock and a key on it. Um, again, thinking for adventure map mode because I want this area. I'm not sure. I did say maybe we'd put an attic, but I don't really want got the space. But I think this area we have like as the sort of shop storage area. I'm not sure whether I want to do like two shop floors. So maybe like a different kind of shop up here with another counter. Oh, that might look quite cool. So I did say when we was building this, maybe we'd section it off and have like two different rooms, but. I don't think we've really got the space. It's like a weird, weird shape, especially with like the two sets of stairs in. If we didn't have these stairs and maybe it was just a ladder up to that, that room up there, it wouldn't be as bad, but because it's a weird shape. So maybe we can put like a counter in here and have a load of different stuff up this way. But we do need to put a counter here and have the doorway, this door here going in here and this would be like the living quarters there's actually an, another upstairs here there's a big building we've got a lot to fill in it uh and we have beds and stuff up here before maybe downstairs we can maybe have some kind of big dining area um also let me shovel all this crap out the way 
we need to get it all out the way. Um, this is from when I've been doing editor stuff. Have I even got my other spade? My shovel spade? Yeah, there it is. There it is. We're good. We're good. Uh, so let's get all this crap out of the way. We don't want this here. Thank you very much. Leaking into my house. Uh, so I, I did this little fireplace here. I was going to put something maybe to the side of it. But I thought maybe we could have some big dining area here. Obviously, we have something like this in the Jarl's place. But I thought that might look kind of cool, right? We have loads of dining tables all around next to the fireplace. Uh, and we've only got a little area here. But I want to put loads of storage and stuff outside. So like some barrels and stuff. Similar to what we've done pretty much everywhere uh, around the marketplace. Uh, oh, that's another thing you probably noticed. I've actually started putting some stuff around here. Um, one thing I found out in the editor, because I'm re I said before I haven't really used the editor other than copying ships over, is you can actually double click on an item and have it make it so it's not able to be picked up. Now this is going to be kind of handy because obviously there's some really nice stuff that I've not been putting around because if I do turn this into the adventure map it kind of make it a bit overpowered like you know instantly being able to get like iron axes and stuff like that. But if we make them so you can't pick them up, that's not going to be too bad. It also means I can actually lock all those random blocks I've placed on roofs and stuff so you can't accidentally pick those up. Um, going to be a bit of a pain. Um, again, that's something probably I do off camera because that's, that's a lot of just roaming around clicking. Anyway, let's get started. So I don't believe I have any any resources left in here. I we're getting loads of these random chests placed around, but every time I go to build a new building, I just put a load of these stone chests around. It, I mean, it's temporary that we won't be keeping them there, but let's dump all this stuff I was using to do the piers. I think I made way too much. Um, don't even think we're going to make another pier probably out of this. Probably not, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, and let's grab a bunch of stuff that we may need. So I'm probably going to need some more of these plank blocks if we're going to add some more walls in. Um, we're going to need beams, wood, uh, probably some more wood uh, logs for planks. Might as well take all these little bits and pieces with the joints and stuff. They always come in handy. Um, what else are we going to need? Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about the roofs, you can no longer make these roofs at the moment. I don't think you can. Um, wooden roof. I'm not sure if they're going to be putting them back into the game, but you can't make them at the moment. So, luckily, I had just enough for uh, that roof. This is why this roof's made out of the new kind, but I had just enough for this roof and I had a couple of blocks left over. So what I did in the editor was dump it on the floor, change the stack to a stack of 50, and then just keep duplicating it because I love these blocks. Hopefully they don't remove them out of the game entirely. Also, a load of my roofs are just going to randomly disappear. Um, you can't even spawn them in in the editor, which is kind of weird, right? You can't, can't actually spawn them in. There's there's no item. Well, they have an item code, but you can put the code in and nothing that pops up. If you put wooden roofs in, it just shows you the ones that you can actually craft straight out of your crafting menu. So, but they are in the game. I actually wouldn't be able to use them and all these would just become like invisible blocks. So I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I did I did put a load in because we still do have a fair few buildings to do and some very big buildings. I might have to dupe probably... If I just leave them in one of the chests, I might be able to just duplicate the chest a couple of times and then we'll have plenty. Um, kind of sucks, but we only need them for this town because when we go to do Asgard, I'm going to be doing different building techniques and using different materials. So it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, anyway, what was we doing? We needed some logs. I'm probably going to have to make myself some more nails because I don't have any left. May need some more of these plank blocks. Just have been making a bunch of plank blocks as well. Uh, making use of the fact that we can get more bang for our buck now. It's been so much easier. Um, obviously, I'll still cut down just as many trees. Oh, we're going to need some cloth as well. Oh, I've only got 20 cloth. Now, this is going to be a problem because cloth is... Oh, I. I don't think oh, I don't think I have any growing anywhere. Hopefully, twenty should be enough. What do we need? Some beds, rugs. We we can hope hope we're good enough on uh, cloth. I I think we should be. I don't think we should be. Uh, another. Uh, I guess I could grow stuff and then we could go out and maybe kill some things. Probably gonna need those beams as well. Don't know why I put those away. Okay, that should be enough. Let us make sure the forge is getting loads and loads of nails done for us because we just we're just gonna need tons of these um you need these for pretty much anything which is like accessory based so 
um, tables, chairs, bookcases, shelves, anything like that. You need lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of them. Uh, what else? What do I need to do? I need to put some wooden pieces in. We need to feed the forge. Uh, you're all probably telling me, why didn't you have those on your hotbar? I don't really use them too often. I'm te you, you guys know I'm terrible with hotbar management. Uh, another thing we want to do today... What the... Where the hell did that come from? Is the snow just all falling in one place and making a point? Are we just going to end up with like a big snow pyramid here? Um, okay. Uh, yeah, another thing, a couple of other things I need to do today is I want to dig some of this up. We could actually just recolor these in the editor, but it's not as precise. You can't do like little block by block painting. Well, you can with these sort of blocks, but not the ground blocks. So what I want to do is I want to dig some of this out and then replace it with stone and dirt to continue our path around and do the same around here. So my dogs are going absolutely crazy. Let's just wait a second until they start. I think they're going quiet. No, they're still barking. Never mind. Um, anyway, but another thing I want to do is do like a little area back here. Uh, maybe you need to dig this out a bit more. Uh, it's a bit too much of a slope. Uh, we need to dig this out a little bit. Maybe put some kind of little bench or little decoration around here. Maybe with a gate or something across here. Uh, just just uh, just for something extra. We're, we're trying to bring the town to life. And I'll probably end up planting loads of seeds and stuff today as well. Unfortunately, we can't really sleep to make the trees grow, which is kind of annoying. But, yeah. Beggars can't be choosers, right? We, we can't get everything the way we want it to. Um... I guess, uh, I guess, no, we can't. I was going to say, because we could probably dupe some trees. We've only got those three. Because, uh, uh, well, <laughs> we don't just have those three. But I want to try and keep the forest to all the tall conifers. Uh, and then just have stuff like the oak trees and that around the town. I think that might look kind of cool like that, right? Y you feeling me? You feeling, me? feeling what I'm trying to get out here? Because these are nice, like, bushy ones, and then this is, like, a big, tall forest. So, just so... I mean, we probably we probably could do some of these smaller conifers, just maybe placed around. Because uh, my idea was if we had some of these already grown, we'd probably just copy and paste them and just sort of drag them around in the editor. But I think we're just going to have to do the old place seeds and hope it looks good when they eventually grow root. Uh, anyway, 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 let's let's actually get on because if I keep rambling on, we're never going to get anything done today. So let's get some of these boxes placed down here. Uh, maybe we can stick a few chests in here as well. All right, let's make sure we got our hand out as well because, as I said before, if you've got your hand out, then you can actually press V and free place it. If you've got something in your hand, it will actually just get rid of the box and think you're trying to place whatever you got in your hand down on the floor uh, this means we can actually like turn them random angles so they're not all on a plane it does make it a bit annoying for opening them because obviously you have to hold the e key down to open them instead of just right clicking but yeah yeah who, who, who really cares right um so let's get a few of these down we got some barrels uh I wish we could make the sacks out of leather instead of cloth because I don't really want to waste the cloth. Maybe we come back and do the sacks after we've made sure we've got all the beds and stuff in because I don't want to run out of cloth before we get the beds in. Let's stack a few of these on top of each other as well. And then we can get a few barrels just randomly placed down. I might also look at some of the stuff you can't craft in the editor and just see if there's anything we can randomly place down. Maybe, yeah, let's just get some barrels down as well. Uh, and then I need to do the same over the other side. Uh, and one nice thing is we can flip this all around the place. Let's pull it up. Um, maybe I'll have a couple stand in there. Maybe have a couple on the side just next to the wall. Um, it's going to be a big area still. Maybe we could put a rug or something down with maybe some kind of merchandise on it. I mean, it's not really the marketplace, but it's more of a storage area than anything. Let's get off of that. There we go. We got off of it. And let's do it again. Uh, recently crafted. There we go. Place a couple of these down just to make it look all nice and pretty. Uh, and then we can get some sacks down. What else? Let's just have a look in our miscellaneous and see what else we can craft. Uh, oh, we could actually make an anvil and place an anvil down. That might look kind of cool. I know it's not really the blacksmith's, but because the blacksmith is over that way. 
but it still would look pretty damn fancy, right? It still would look pretty... Oh, <laughs> it's not as big as I thought it was. That's fine. I just placed that randomly down. Um, I was expecting it to be, like, huge. No. <laughs> Diddy little anvil. Um, or maybe we can an archery target down. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's have one of these. I mean, it's a storage area, so they might have, like, any kind of odds and ends stored here uh, to sell. Also, what are we actually going to put in the shop? This is the question. Um, I wonder if we can make some kind of display case. Obviously, we have to cook up some glass panels or something, but that might like look kind of cool, right? It also means we could, rather than just placing barrels and all stuff around. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's supposed to be a Viking-y shop. I doubt they would have had display cases, but just for the sake of actually getting stuff around, that looks kind of cool. Um coffin maybe maybe a coffin would no no that's not do a coffin um maybe we could put some more of these little seed packets and stuff down i did see some we did see some banners and stuff when we went exploring so i wonder if they're in the game now i don't think so i guess we could always put them in in the editor i tend not to like doing too much with the editor oh you know what we could do is if we get grab some clay we could put some of these little vases and stuff down or vases if you want to be uh fancy uh, we won't bother with the glass sphere because I already know that's just humongous. Absolutely humongous. Wow, that is a lot of miscellaneous stuff now, isn't it? Yeah, so we got the sacks, but yeah, that's all cloth and we can't afford to waste cloth at the moment. At the moment. Uh, I'll probably use up all my leftover cloths because they do look kind of cool, the sacks. Um, not really the money sacks, but some of these bigger sacks look good. Why are we talking about sacks? I do not know. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, so I think we definitely need to get some clay and just make a bunch of these vases. We can always spray them different colours. It don't necessarily have to be the colours that the vases are. Now, I think we have a big stack of clay in one of these chests. I have no clue what it is. No clue. And look at all these pier things as well. Ah, yes, that's another thing. I was just messing around with this. Um, so we can actually create these, but there are three different types of stepping stones. And what I want to do is I actually want to fill this pathway up with them. Not to the extent they're like butted against each other, but just sort of randomly placed. I mean, it just gives it an added bit of depth. Um, so we'll probably do that as well today. Uh, look, we've got a lot of pathways to dig out. A hell of a lot of pathways. Right. So I believe they're in one of these. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was maybe add like a sort of little half in hanging over the water. Half on the land, sort of maybe like a little storage shed or something. With just some chests or something in. Just so we got something here, uh, and then we have a pathway going off there to the boathouse. I actually need to extend the forest outwards. I'll do that all off camera. We actually need to get rid of these uh, rubber trees. I need to get rid of all this mess over here as well. Because we have a hell of a bunch of mess just looming over in the distance there, which probably doesn't actually really help with the frame rate right? when you've got like hundreds and hundreds of objects just all floating around in the distance. Uh, funnily enough, though, I really only get lag in this game when my boat loads in. <laughs> Because it's huge. I mean, it's not even a, the most massive of boats. Uh, this is really annoying me. So can we dig this out, please? There we go. Thank you. Uh, actually, while well, we've got the spade out, let's dig out this area as well. Um, not sure how this is going to look. If it's got like a sheer cliff. Doing the smoothing tool in the editor is... Eh, it's not the best in the world. But... Yeah, that don't look too bad kind of a bit of an overhang there I guess I guess we can build what we want in here and then try and sort of sort it out later um, I'm not sure I like having like a slope coming right down and this just going off to like a straight grid. I kind of like this, the fact it's curved nicely though that's amazing so what was it doing right clay vases so if we just type a vase in here uh, let's just, whoop. oh, they're actually, I thought they were the ones you just place out, oh, so we can just do a whole bunch and they go to our inventory, which is kind of handy, except for we're out of inventory space, so we're just throwing vases all over the place, which is absolutely fine, that's that's cool, that's all right with me, uh, ah, so they're a, they're a V jobby, are they? Can we pick up a couple of these? Let's see which one, other ones we got, oh, these tall ones look like, yeah, they're kind of nice. Just place these down randomly. Maybe a, a couple on the corner there. That looks like a really big one. So 
place that down maybe let's because i want to put some stuff under here as well so maybe we'll just plant a couple place a couple down randomly just to fill up this area so it doesn't look so empty and barren so it looks like you know proper sort of storage area in a proper town there's a lot going on um i haven't really tried about spawning npcs in i'm not i think you need uh, let's remove that one i don't like that one let's put some a couple of sacks there maybe one over the barrel and then maybe a couple standing up um i guess it's all right if we leave this area kind of open because it doesn't really matter too much so let's uh, go drop a couple of these over here just randomly placed uh, a couple in the corner uh, we can come back with a paint gun and maybe spray them different colors uh, probably use some of these in the shop as well maybe on shelves maybe off in the corners uh, just to make it look uh, a bit more natural like there's stuff about okay 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 uh, i don't want to go too crazy with them uh, i guess we do have a like a potter's place but to be honest all the vases should be in the potter's place right so yeah <laughs> let's not go too over the top with them now okay let's we're i'll figure out i'm not sure what i want to put under here might put some uh hides or something under here maybe because i don't think we have a market store that sells hide so i was going to make this all different weapons and stuff i was going to make this one like food this one maybe some miscellaneous goods this one seeds obviously and this one like herbalism stuff uh, and this one maybe i was thinking like a sort of wine merchant or something like that but we i guess we got some bottles and we can maybe get make some of those flasks and dye them different colors to make it look like they look more like potions than in november just because we don't really have, there is no sort of drinks in this game. You don't need a drink, which that's something I think they should add is food and drink. It would look kind of cool. So we don't really have anything for hides, but then again, we got stuff in the shop as well. So maybe I uh, just put a couple of barrels and stuff out here as well. Then, yeah, why not? <laughs> I think this is probably one of my most used objects: is barrels and uh, boxes. We use them a lot, a hell of a lot um we need some more storage options I, I guess we could put some of those chests there are some different random ones like the globe ones and stuff like that a bit more interesting ones but maybe we should save those for in the shop because they're a bit more fancy aren't they um so i think we have one on the floor maybe maybe sort of to the side if we just bump that up a bit uh, and then maybe we just have a couple of boxes in there as well uh and maybe maybe we'll stick a chest in here but you see what I mean about the boxes is they're stuck to the grid, which is all right if you want to like place them neatly against a wall. But when you want to kind of sort of have them in angles and stuff, it doesn't look that good. So because everything's so flat in this game, it's nice to just have the option to make stuff so it's not all like perfect and symmetrical. I said this before: symmetry is overrated. Um, just as humans we can't really place stuff down randomly because even when we try and place stuff down randomly we generally sort of have a pattern of how we place stuff down randomly if that makes any sense so if i was like i'm going to place stuff randomly here uh, my movements still would probably sort of place it in a non-randomish way it still look kind of random but not like completely random so sometimes less is more that doesn't look too bad i still think we need maybe we put one hide or something i don't know i don't think i've got any hides at the moment because i think <laughs> i think i broke all the hides to make the cloth to make this because awnings take a hell of a lot of cloth to make um so i think we might have to go out and kill stuff but we don't have to worry about that at the moment now how do i do want to do my little counters so in i can't remember how did we do it in the inn was it just one log I did like a log and uh, a log and <laughs> a log counter in the inn, and that turned out quite nicely. But I wondered if we could. I uh, know oh I did the little cube blocks with a log on top. I'm wondering. I was thinking maybe free place planks on the top of something like that to make it look. God, we're hungry today. To make it look more like uh, you know, like a counter top. I wonder how hard that would be to do might be quite finicky um so we want a fairly big counter i want it sort of going all the way there and obviously then the doors behind that 
should we just do the same thing? I don't have any of those wooden cubes, which is a bit of a problem. Like a ti tiny little bit of a problem. Not like a major problem, but a very, very small little problem. So, do I have any lurking around? Let's drop off these. We don't need these at the moment. Remember, they're in there, guys. <laughs> I'll forget. I'll forget and I'll end up making more, which I guess is not going to be the worst thing in the world. Do we have any cubes? They're not hard to make, but... Yeah, we do have some. Might as well use any up that i got lurking around because it means we can get rid of chests then. I actually want to start getting rid of all these, what they the alchemy chests there. Most of them just have junk in from when I've cut trees down when we used to actually pick up everything the tree drops. And I just got absolutely bored of doing that. I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just delete all the crap in the editor. Uh, so I think we, if we just do the same thing, I mean, we could always change how the counter in the inn looks if this actually turns out quite well. So I think we do the same thing, but this time we'll try and place some planks on top of the logs just to see what it looks like. So I don't know what else we got, but that's a fairly big counter. It is, I kind of want it fairly big just to sort of close off the area a bit so I don't have so much to place in here. Uh, and if we can work out how to do it, we could do like a glass cabinet in the corner. Uh, maybe some cabinets with special fancy stuff and shelves behind here. Um, I guess we could have another, maybe another glass cabinet by the stairs. But, you know, you get that drunk person that wanders up the stairs and then falls on top of it and goes through it. I'm talking in, re in real life situations. Maybe we can have something in the corner here as well. Um, ah, yeah, so maybe upstairs we could have... This is like all hides, exotic hides and stuff. So maybe, after, it won't be glass cabinets, but maybe we could think of some, rather than just using tables, we could think of some way of making some kind of fancy sort of display case kind of thingy, but not actually like with the glass and stuff on it. Anyway, we come to that bridge when we get there. So let's do the normal thing here. Uh, it's a good job I brought all those little bits and pieces because I wanted to use up because we did actually need them. I always need these. I told you, I think this is one of my most used blocks is the these little corner pieces. I've used them for so much. <laughs> I use them for everything. They're, they're nice little fancy pieces. I mean, the... Uh, oh, should we put a slant in there? I don't think I did that in the uh, inn, but I don't think I have any, do I? Balls. You know what, just to save walking back, let's just let's just look and craft some because I don't really want to waste time. Uh, where are you? There you go. I do have a bunch of these somewhere, but yeah, screw looking for them, right? Let's make it easy on ourselves. Yeah, actually that's a bit better. I think I'll do the I'll knock out that one that's in the inn as well. And just I mean that's not really a big deal, but it just it just takes away that horrible corner. Okay, right, so I said about replacing planks so uh, let's see how this goes uh, once we get one in the right place uh, let's make sure we're at a distance so we can I can't really see the whole thing all right let's try and do it from here because then we should be able to just if we get one in the right place we should be able to just slide it across and go do, 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 all the way along and then it'll be at the same height that's that's the theory here Okay, it's in the same place, which is nice. Well, actually, it looks like it's gone a little bit higher, but screw it. Uh, kind of hard to see. Yeah, that, that one below is in the wrong place, but I wonder if we can pick that up. Maybe if I knock the log out, I might be able to pick up the one from underneath it. I'm not sure. Because this oh, they're so thin, it's going to be hard to... Uh, the trouble is, I ain't got like a completely flat edge. So even if we did like line them up perfectly, and kind of like a weird shape. No, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Let's, let's just have a little look through just to see if there's anything else that we may be able to use in its place. There are some uh, obviously like beams and stuff, but they're pretty much just the same as what's at the bottom of here. I'd rather not use those. If possible, I'm just wondering if there's anything else that we might be able to use. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, let me just take a quick drink before I end up losing my voice entirely. Uh, 
Um, I wonder if maybe one of those signs flipped around the other way. But would you be able to see the sign from underneath? I mean, you can't really actually get under here, but I'm just wondering if you'll be able to see the lip. And yeah, we can try it. We can try and see. Uh, can we just break these into smithereens? Get the clay back. All right, let's just try and see. Let's just place one down. Uh, let's see what happens. Because that is a nice flat surface. And that's kind of the thing we're looking for. It's just a shame it doesn't really snap to anything. This is the trouble when you use the V. I definitely would say doing this in like creative mode is a lot easier because stuff generally snaps together. Um, I don't look too bad. They're kind of small though, like this long ways. So we're gonna we're gonna have a hell of a time. And also, what we're gonna do when we get to the corner is we gotta try and clip it into each other, which is yeah, it's gonna be a pain. I think we won't worry about it at the moment, just because I think it's gonna it's gonna take so much time to try and get that lined up perfectly. I'm gonna be messing around with that one. We can be getting on with quite literally anything else uh so let me have a look to see what we need for the glass blocks because i do want to make some kind of display case so they're going to be kind of big though so then again maybe we do it the same about the same size as the uh counter it won't be too big especially if we use these thinner ones uh, we need loads of raw glass. Now, I do have some somewhere. Where it is, I do not know. But we did make a bunch. I was pro still probably not going to have enough. but Because it does take four apiece. But I did have a load lurking yeah, in one of these chests. And let's dump some of this crap that we don't need. Definitely don't need that fence. Don't know why that's in there. Oh, yeah, because I was doing that fence beforehand. Uh, we keep the cloth on us because we'll need beds and stuff. Oh. Oh no! I was yeah. I was gonna say we we got two upstairs places. I was gonna say where the hell am I gonna put the uh, room for the shopkeeper to sleep? But I thought we got the whole uh, separate bit. You know what? We might do that first because that's gonna be a bit easier. Because that's just gonna be your basic stuff, tables and chairs and stuff. We're not gonna get all fancy and how's oh it's a stepping stone. I wondered what that was. I was like, there's some weird lump in my uh on my pathway. Yeah, so we're going to do, we do this side first because then we can start doing all the fancy carpets and stuff. So I wanted to do it like a big dining table. So I think the easiest way to do that is going to be to link some of these up. Now, do, do uh, don't think we really want to use the iron. That's actually a desk anyway. That's I guess the desk is, is a kind of table, but that's actually a desk. It's just straight up desk. Uh, the reason why I don't want to do this is because instead of just like the little four posts, it's got like w big ends to it, so it wouldn't look as good, right? So let's just do a whole bunch of these. Now, I need to try and get these lined up. Uh, and where are we going to start from? So if you come in there, we probably don't want to block the doorway. So maybe put some... I think we can only get them in the editor, but you can get some comfy chairs. Or well, maybe we have some comfy chairs in the corner. Maybe we have uh, some chests or something, some storage under there. So I probably want to start about here, because obviously once we get the... Okay, just bong it straight on the floor. Because once we get the chairs and stuff, obviously it's going to come out a bit further. Uh, yeah, I was... Oh, I'm not going to like placing these. I do not... They kind of don't snap together properly, and thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to my little community, my little corner of the internet. Uh, yeah, I hate putting these together, like, trying to get them lined up perfectly, because, I don't know, some of these things do, like, snap to the grid, like, perfectly. Like the boxes, I was saying about the boxes earlier. They... It's weird. They snap to like the grid perfectly, but stuff like this doesn't. Maybe we, if we just, why is that like so like raised up and this one isn't? But we try and clip the legs inside each other. Uh, that way we haven't got legs upon legs upon legs. I'm not really worried about it being like dead straight because you know tables usually aren't. Uh, so maybe we do four of these, uh, and then I'll do my normal. It's you, bro. It's you. You're like totally... All the others are conforming to where I want them to go. And you're just like... 
sitting up taller. You think you're better than the other tables? You're not better than the other tables. Don't be silly. The other tables are just as good as you. Yeah, so that's not too bad. So then I'll do my like higgledy piggledy chairs because I think it just looks so much more sort of rustic and natural. <laughs> I'm talking about chairs and putting tables in. Are you kidding me? Uh, so we do a couple of these and then, oh, maybe we have these big backed ones just like either side. And then we just like have a load of random ones because maybe in like the Yarls, the Yarls quarters, he can have chairs that all match each other. Because, you know, he, he's going to be rich. The shopkeeper's doing okay. Obviously, he's got probably one of the bigger houses in my little town. But it's still like, you know, if you've ever, ever had big Christmas parties or that, you, you normally have like four good chairs around your table. And then you kind of just find random ones, right, to accommodate the rest of the people. So this is what the shopkeeper does because his table's so big. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe we could make a little backstory, like some random backstory or something. And he hosts, I don't know, some kind of random cult or something that's trying to usurp the jarl or something like that. That would be kind of cool, right? I think we'll put some of those little log stools in as well. Was actually, yeah, a couple of these little ones in. So <laughs> maybe he pinched them from the uh, the tavern. Has anybody? I've seen, I, I haven't personally done it, but I have seen some drunk people randomly walking home with random crap. I mean, I've, I, we, as a kid, when we used to go out drinking when I was younger, ooh, there's a nasty little spot there. Uh, but yeah, as a, as a kid, when you used to go out drinking, obviously traffic cones and stuff like that. I don't know why we pinched them, because it's like, it's a traffic cone. Like, why, why would you even pinch a traffic cone? <laughs> what, what are you going to do with it? Um, and my friend used to be obsessed with taking roadway signs as well. Not like the actual ones that say, you know, go into this town, but like the road works signs. Um, only obviously when there wasn't actually road works there, but you know, lazy road works people sometimes just sort of leave them there for like no reason whatsoever, just because they can't be bothered to go back and get them. And my friend always used to take them. And they're, they're pretty big. Um, I I have no clue what he did with them when he moved out. <laughs> like, trying to get rid of all that crap. Yeah, good luck. Okay, so we got that. We need some cabinets or something. I think maybe... I was thinking maybe putting some, like, the bear's heads. But we got that in the inn. So just to make it a bit different, maybe we have cabinets either side of the fireplace. Uh, and then we can maybe put just random crap on the cabinets. So let's have a look at what cabinets we got. So... Ooh, I haven't really used those too much. We'll have to try and make use of those in today's builds. Um, I think maybe just these ones with the drawers. I think they might be a bit too big, these ones. Yeah, it's a bit, bit too big. Not really what we're looking for. So let's have a look at just... I don't really want shelves, so I think just these ones with the, the little drawers at the bottom. All right, now let's try and get these lined up perfectly. So, oh, I hate it when you do that. Why do you do this to me, game? So if you're wondering what I'm doing, should we just try and eyeball it? Well, my plan intention was there is to place one down and then just slide the other one across, but it moved as soon as uh, we placed it down. Can we see what we're doing here? Oh, it's a bit too close. It's not too bad. Oh, maybe we could have like a shelf over the top. That might look kind of cool. We have to try and line a few shelves up, but that's not too hard. I had to line the shelves up for the windows because I used them as window sills as well. Um, yeah, we can make plenty of those. Uh, and maybe have like a, a bit over the top of the fireplace. Um, actually, yeah, let's clip it all the way in so we don't get that little nasty bit on the outside. I think this actually might be able to come out a bit further. Here we can. Um, also, because it's clipped in there, it's... Really? <laughs> now I've got to try and line this one up perfectly. Now, I guarantee this this one will stay exactly in place. So, oh, okay, no, I lied. Game, you're making me look like a fool now. I hate it when it, I really hate it when it does that. Um, oh, no, it doesn't fit perfectly across, does it? This is the... Uh, it's going to be messy now. Um, okay, let, let's, let's remove this one. Better idea. Okay, we, we do it from either side and then join it up in the middle. Normally, when you place one down, uh, the second one uh, a pop out and run. If you're wondering what I'm on about here, 
is look, I'll show you once we place this one down instead of like it automatically clipping inside exactly where our mouse is it kind of like pops out further now some things in this game don't do that um, you know what I'm not even bothered about that some things in this game don't do that but it's really annoying when you need to try and like line stuff up perfectly because the the easiest way to do it is obviously to place one down and when it's clipped inside just hit G and just keep sliding it across um, obviously the game doesn't make it that easy and that one's oh I don't look like wait a wait a second now this one's in the wrong <laughs> no <laughs> game game you can't do this to me Come on, Wild Lands, play ball with me today, please. Play ball with me. Uh, I'm not. I'm not feeling very good. You, you can't be doing this to me. Take, take pity on me. Now that one actually looked perfect. So I don't know what was this. This uh, f apparently this first one we placed wasn't wasn't good enough. So let's try and pull it out, get it lined up. I can't let's try and do it from this angle because I can't see. I can't see diddly squat at what we're doing here. So if we can. Just pull this out, try and line it up, maybe, and then we slide it back. Ah, there we go. Now, <laughs> don't don't move the button. Uh, we should. Perfect, perfect. I'm doing the little perfecto thingy, the little Italian thing. No, no, no. I've been watching some Italian vlog. I don't know why. I've been here and I was like, oh, what the hell am I going to watch? And I've just been laying in bed. It was like, I don't really watch much TV these days. So I generally just like watch TV shows or YouTube or something. Because, um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. English TV sucks <laughs> really, really badly. It's like the odd good show, but most of it's just like dramas and stuff like that. I'm not really into that kind of thing. Um, pretty much every girlfriend I've ever had is absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I used to watch it, stuff like that as a, a kid just mainly because my mum and dad used to watch it but that was about it uh, so yeah I'm not into that Def definitely not for me right chest wise ooh, not got the best chest let's just have a look through miscellaneous just to see if there's anything else oh you know what we ain't got one of these so let's pop one of these outside that is another thing to fill up an area um, I guess we'll have it over here maybe we can have it in the middle so maybe we can have some people come train here. Uh, let's randomly place it uh, looking outwards a bit, maybe. There we go. Could actually paint that if we wanted as well. He's actually got like a hammer on his... <laughs> He's got a hammer arm. I definitely wouldn't want to get hit by that. Can we actually hit it? And Oh, we just broke it. I wonder if we hit it, it would spin. I've never, never actually made one of those, to be honest. I don't know why. I never really had any need to place one down, but... Now we got to turn him around again. There we go. So that, that's another thing we're going to have outside. I still need some stuff. I still think I'm going to put a big, hot, maybe polar bear hide down there. We're going to have to go find one to kill. Uh, what else can we place down? Let's have a look through the miscellaneous and see what else we've got. Um, I've overused barrels on that. Maybe a little corner table. Oh, with a plant potter thing. Maybe put some plants in it. So we've got a kind of nice window here. The trouble with that is we can't really plant anything that's too bushy. Else it will actually stick out through this and it won't look very good. So let's have a look. I do have some clay on me. So if we go to pot. Uh, yeah. Maybe we could have like a couple of these round ones it's placed in the center uh, and then maybe like a corner piece coming out. It's it's just something nice to sort of kind of fill up the area so we don't really have to worry about it too much. Maybe a couple of those ones, a couple of those ones. Let's see how big they are. Um, yeah, that won't look too bad. It's yeah, nice and even. S symmetry, right? <laughs> Even though I don't really do symmetry, but at least it... Oh, no, pick it back up, pick it back up. Um, I guess we could just free place some flowers in here, just instead of trying to get seeds to grow in there. We can just... Uh, kind of wish these didn't stick out so far. So if they were a bit further back, we could have bushes in them. But then it would kind of block the window. Eh, eh, we'll worry about that later. Um... 
So I think maybe we have one of those big cabinets in the corner. Uh, yeah, one of, uh, yeah, one of these big ones in the corner. Maybe under the window wouldn't, wouldn't look too bad. Obviously not floating in midair. Kind of it's more like a sort of bedroom dresser sort of kind of table, but yeah, you've got nowhere to put your legs under. So if you were to sat at this, you'd just be hitting your knees against the drawers and stuff all the time, which is, is never nice, is it? Um, so we're definitely we'll leave it as that. Uh, maybe another plant pot in the corner. And we can always make some of those other little vases and stuff. Where the hell did that go? Perfect. Just, uh, just to brighten up, because we have got a lot of stuff. We can always put some paintings. Um, obviously, we haven't got them yet, because we're still exploring that map. But once we finished exploring the map, which will probably be Monday, maybe Sunday, um, we do have tons of paintings on that other save that I want to sort of bring over to this save, because um, we don't have anything to explore on this map anymore. So we do have a bunch of new paintings, so we definitely have some paintings to put around. Obviously, I could always just spawn them in, in the editor, but might as well use the stuff we've actually found, because I generally don't like using the editor too, too much for doing stuff. Uh, we do have some of these busts and stuff as well, these new busts and that around. Ooh, ooh, a safe. What do we need for that? Steel plates and a cogwheel. Now, it would make sense to have one in the shop. We could actually have it behind here, maybe. Or should we actually try and hide it? Maybe we could break one of these out and have like a little trap door <laughs> down to the safe. You guys know it's there now. Um, or maybe it'd just be better looking on display in the corner. Just to eh, maybe entice people. I dare you. I dare you. Maybe we can have a bit of a feisty shopkeeper behind it. We'll see. We'll see. But that's definitely an idea. I don't, I've don't. i never made one of those. I've opened some, but I've never made them. Uh, carpets and that, we're going to go after make those at the loom or the spinning thingy. Yeah, the loom. We're going to need to go make those at the loom. Um, I might dye some different colours just because I don't like some of the default colours of these carpets. They're a bit garish. They, they don't look that good. Oh, wicker baskets are another thing we could use. What do we actually need? Sticks. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's let's grab some sticks. I don't I usually have an inventory full of sticks, but... I think I was making, yeah, I was making a bunch of poles for all the different fences and stuff. Really? My dogs are going crazy again? Might have to go uh, have a stern talking to in a minute. Uh, blinking Sharky. Anybody goes past my door, like just walks past the street, he starts barking. Yeah, when he's out, he doesn't make a sound. He's as quiet as a mouse, but... I don't know. He, he grows balls when he's at home. <laughs> I swear if someone come in the house, he'd be barking. Then someone come in the house, he'd shut up and run away and hide. <laughs> uh, he annoys me, though, because of obviously recording. Uh, yeah, let's make a couple of these. Put a couple of these down. That saved me some cloth. Let's put a couple of them on the other side as well. Just to start filling up this area a bit. Uh, and maybe, yeah, let's put one there as well. And then maybe I'll put a big hide there or something like that just fill up that area there. Okay. Uh, so I'll get so sidetracked building stuff, but we got so much to build. I mean, it's not really it's not really a big deal. Um, I still don't know what I want to put in here. Maybe we should start doing the upstairs first and then see what materials we got left. Because we need to do like a bedroom. And uh, now nah, I think we have the bedroom. God, we got such an another huge space here. It might even be worth sectioning this off. I mean, like a doorway here or something. Obviously, we could put a door in here, maybe. Hello, Fenris. How are you? How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really bothered about it, actually. So let's just put a bed and a bedside table in here. Uh, we can make one of the really fancy beds, or can we? What am I miss? My hammer's broken? Ooh, one repair kit left. That was lucky. Um, I always get into this really bad situation where obviously I need repair kits to repair my hammer, but I don't have the hammer to make repair kits. It's such a bad thing. I do have some spares, but it saves going and getting them right. So beds. Uh, let me see. Oh, maybe you could have an iron bed. I haven't made an iron bed yet. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a fancier house, so we should have a fancier bed. Now, where do we want it? Do I want it right under the window? 
I mean, I'm not too bothered about you being able to go looking out the window. But it does make more sense to have it maybe flipped around this way uh, with maybe a bedside cabinet next to here. Uh, we can maybe put a, another big cabinet down the side. Now, was it actually just called a table? I think it was. The t yeah, the tiny little wooden cabinets. Have one there next to the side. Uh, we can always put something on top of there. Um, now we can make the candles and stuff. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty nifty. Uh, I don't know if I can make any at the moment. I don't have resin on me, but... Oh, ooh. festive candles. Oh, light bulbs. Oh, that's easy. Light bulbs and energy. I'm guessing we'd probably need... I don't, when this town has no like kind of energy. It's a very rustic town, so... Yeah, we won't we start dealing with that. I'll, d I'll just use candles. Um, and maybe some lanterns as well. I did want to do some lanterns on the outside, just to lighten up the area a bit. I did think about making maybe some of the uh, Wylandium torches. I think they were called Wylandium. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll... I swear we learned the recipe for them because I was looking at them like a couple of streams ago when we were doing this and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to put up. I'd probably get away with using those. It's probably because I don't have the crystals in my uh, inventory or something since the, the new patch rolled out. Unless they've changed how you need to make them. Uh, so I kind of want one of those big wardrobes because, you know, we definitely want some wardrobes in a bedroom. Uh, obviously, they have a fancy a lot, maybe. You know, another th cool thing to do would maybe be have oh, words, maybe have s the planks, like a plank placed. Now, this is going to be kind of hard because it's planks on plank blocks uh, and placing stuff on plank blocks is not the easiest in the world. If we can, well, I don't think this is plank blocks. This is actually the roofing. So if we place it high, up high. <laughs> Come on, you need to go back just a tiny, tiny little tad. Oh, smidgen of lag there. Can't have you drop it on the floor. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, I was going to say, maybe have like some kind of hooks or something like that. Uh, obviously, you could use nails uh, and then maybe like clip some clothes into it so they kind of like have a, a shelf with clothes on it. I guess we could shelf of clothes no but oh maybe we could have some shelves with different boots and something in that might look kind of cool if i wasn't in my inventory so if we put uh maybe one of these sort of shelves up you know like how the like really fancy people that collect like tons of different kinds of shoes do we need two i obviously fill the area up quite a bit i mean they're our shopkeeper so you know <laughs> Maybe sampling the uh, the same merchandise. We can put loads of different kinds of shoes on here. That might look kind of cool. Um, need some kind of like armor rack or something. Is there anything like that? I wonder. No, rack. No, just normal rack. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's have a look in our miscellaneous. We still do have a load of vases and stuff we can use. Um, I think they need a kind of chest up here as well be a fancy chest now this room is getting kind of crowded so maybe we put the chest out here because uh, it is a very thin room i want to get a rug down on the floor um, i guess we could put some more plants up here i don't like this wall i really don't that's a lot of wall that is a hell of a lot of wall but if we put anything the other side of it i guess we could put some paintings or something up on the wall just uh get rid of that a bit uh putting paintings on the plank block walls is kind of a bit annoying you've got to put something into the wall first which i usually just use nails and then clip the painting onto the nails else the painting will do this it will like clip all half half in half out uh, and then you'll just get loads of plank blocks coming through uh now what on earth do we want to put up here i am thinking we definitely need a wall up here with maybe a doorway going through just to separate the rooms a bit because that's, that's, a, that's a lot of space and I don't really want to do more dining tables because, you know, <laughs> we've got loads of dining tables downstairs. Uh, trouble, 
Oh, you know what? I've nev never made one of those large doors yet. Let's see how... Oh, holy... <laughs> okay, that's a bit too big. That's a bit too large for my liking. But I thought... <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a kind of castle door, that is. I kind of like that. That's kind of fancy. Uh, definitely, definitely not what I want, though. I was about to say, the trouble with the doorway is... It's uneven. Um... I guess we'll have the doorway this side. Can't really have it smack bang in the middle because it can't be smack bang in the middle. So, it's a bit annoying. Uh, oh, I guess... No, because we've got kind of an archway going into there. I was going to say maybe we could just make an archway. But because we've got one going into the bedroom, it'd just be like archway, archway kind of thing. Well, it's not like a proper archway because it's the way the roof goes. So, I, I kind of turned it into that little bit. I did what I did actually have corner pieces on here to make it look curved, but it was hard to get through it. You kind of had to do a, like a little hop every time you try to go through it, which is a bit annoying, right? You, d you don't want to have to be hopping everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, I have to do that on my ship because the roof's so low down. <laughs> um, it seems to be a problem with like some very specific blocks, um, mainly plank blocks and the floors with like the little beam underneath where they're like half and half we seem to have problems with it then but every, the other kind of blocks you don't generally have problems with the sort of wooden cubes uh, obviously all the different stone cubes and stuff like that i don't know if it's because it's got it kind of got like a like this little lip on it uh, which obviously you can just see i just clipped through it there but i don't think the game really takes that into consideration funnily enough Right, let's get this done uh, and then i need to do the same on the other upstairs but well, well not in the same place but i need to put a doorway in that that we can put a lock on so you can't randomly get through it i wonder if we can actually increase the health of blocks as well because obviously if i turn this into a venture map <laughs> you know it's it's an adventure game you can easily just like break the blocks and go through the wall instead of the doorway i mean woods It'd probably be a bit more of a pain with stone, but wood's fairly easy to break. It doesn't take too long to smash it to bits. Okay, we need a doorway for this. I think we're just going to use the really bog standard one. That's... Oh! I've actually changed the texture. No, that's actually a different one. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe I saw that one in the game, because there was that one, that one. Oh, we'll use one of these ones then. Oh, actually, it's not, it's not tall enough. Well, it's, it's too tall. There we go. Ah, that's a quaint little door. I didn't notice I put that into the game. Unless I completely missed it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Looks uh, less rough, a bit more carved out. Okay. So now we can just basically have some junk in this, <laughs> this bit here. <laughs> it makes it kind of easy. Uh, we maybe do some more plant pots or something. Maybe use some of these vases as well. Uh, we did we did place a few around. Uh, let's use a couple of these really small ones as well. So let's have one smack bang in the middle because I can do a bush then because it's not going to clip through the the walls and stuff. It doesn't look too bad, especially if it's like next to the window and it kind of clips through the window. It looks a bit more natural, but you know you don't want some big green bush going through your walls. I think these are double thick though. Yeah, they are double thick, so it does make it a bit harder for it to go through the walls. Uh, and let's have maybe like a sort of little pattern. Should we get get a couple more? Yeah, let, let's do like a little sort of starry type pattern with the plants. Can just have some like little bear berries in here and a big bush in there or something. Now, I don't know if I got any on me. Uh, let's have a look. Don't, definitely don't want an oak. Elderberry is a bit too big. Now, let's see if we can actually get this smack bang in the middle. I'm terrible at doing this. First try. First try. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's just going all in the same place. Now, let's smash that out. Come on. I wish we got the seed back. I mean, it's not hard to get the seeds. You just... No, I broke my pot now as well. God damn you, game. God damn you. Uh, right, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, that's alright. I got 61 of these seeds. <laughs> Middle. 
close. Not uh, that one's good enough. Right now, I need to try and smash all these without smashing that middle one. That one. Take to take the dirt. No, not the pot. That one. <laughs> Please don't smash the middle one. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, I didn't look in the middle now. It looked. Yeah, yeah, it's good enough for me. Uh, and then we just free place. I think you can free place the bear berries. Um, I don't really want to have to try and plant those in there because it's kind of a bit of a pain in the really, really small plots. Um, I think the bear berries look exactly the same when you pick them up as to when they're on the floor. So that should be good. Okay, so we need some carpets. Uh, what are we going to have in this room? I guess we could have like a little round table, a little sitting area. Might look kind of cool by the window in here over this side. We get some, I do like the lighting in this game. Get some cool light through the window. So let's have a look at the round tables. I might do one of the really fancy ones. The man or, or woman of very, very good tastes, apparently. Uh, and then we'll do the fancy chairs as well. Maybe one of these chairs and... Wow, you actually put those... No, you don't. I, I just pressed the wrong button. I was going to say, you put those in your inventory, but you don't put any other chairs in your inventory. Uh, so I have a little stool there, and then we have another chair over in the corner. Uh, yeah, they're just having sort of sticking out at an angle. Um, wow, something I put in here. Kind of running out of stuff to actually randomly place. Let's have a quick flick through the miscellaneous again. What could I do? Uh, we could have a... Oh, you know what? I can put one of those by down by the fire. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I expected. It kind of, kind of looks like this sort of old-fashioned coal baskets. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit too big. Is there, is there one that's a bit smaller than that? I know there's the big globe ones, but then, yeah, that metal sphere is going to be a bit too big. It kind of looks like the old-fashioned sort of metal coal baskets used to get. Uh, I guess we could do a, like a maybe a, a plinth with like a bust on. Just oh, I don't have any sandstone for those Egyptian ones. And the other, uh, let's have a look at statues. I think these statues would be a bit too big for my needs. I'm definitely gonna have to do myself some uh, Egyptian themed stuff at some point. Because uh, there's a lot of Egyptian themed stuff. There's obviously a lot of Wild West, but a load of people have been making tons and tons of Wild West kind of stuff. Buildings and whatnot. Which kind of makes sense, because obviously there's guns and stuff, but not really up my alley. Yeah, I guess we'll just make some of the vases. I kind of like these little little ones with the flowers on. They're kind of cool. <laughs> we could always put a flag in here. I don't know why they would have a flag in here, but yeah. We've <laughs> uh, also got those plant pots, but yeah, yeah not as good. Yeah, I kind of want one of these now. I must have some sandstone somewhere, right? We've been to the desert area quite a bit, so I must have some lurking around. I mean, if push comes to shove, obviously, we could always just sneakily place one in in the editor. So yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's make a little plinth. Um, do with stuff in this corner as well. So let's go to ye old faithful barrels and boxes. We've got so many barrels and boxes in this town. Uh, and then a couple of, maybe just a couple of the barrels. Maybe an alchemy chest. Might look kind of cool. Did I not click it? There we go. Maybe an alchemy chest in here. So maybe have that. Maybe have a couple stacked up on top of each other. So we can have it kind of. Let's try and clip it through so I can get it exact. Oh, that's the wrong button. Start again. Start again. Start fresh. G is the one I want. So let's try and clip it through exactly the same. And then we can lift it up so they're exactly level with each other. Oh, we've gone reverse controls. Let's have a look at a freaking airline pilot. Trying to precisely land something. It oh, actually just drops down. Um, maybe not then. I was I was gonna try and like maybe put something in between them. I think we have to put something in between them first. Uh, I think maybe just like a log or something. 
I'm going to have to do that first, aren't I? <laughs> you live and learn. Uh, okay, so like a couple of logs. And then maybe have it come out. Let's do some kind of like little small fancy. S very, very subtle little design. If I can flip this around the right way. Um, so that one needs to go in like so. And then this one actually needs to come out one. So that comes out one there. Don't have to worry about it there. And then it needs to come out one further that way. And that's how we get the the double curved edges. Else obviously the curve would just curve straight into the back of the other curve, which wouldn't look very good. Uh, not that you're probably going to be able to see this, because obviously there's going to be a chest sitting on it, but just so it looks a bit more... Rather than two chests floating on top of each other. Right, there we go. That should do nicely. So we click this one underneath there. And then we can put this one up here. There we go. That looks a bit better. It looks a bit more natural. I mean, I can't really see that underneath one, but... Yeah, it's there. You guys saw I did it, so <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> you guys know I put a bit of effort into that. Um, so I think we just need some stuff on the walls here, really. Um, maybe a, sh a couple of shelves in this bit, uh, and then we can maybe just have some items placed. So let's just grab them cabinet shelves again, because uh, it's kind of a nice little alcove to put these in. Uh, oh, we're out of stuff. What are we out of? Planks, I'm guessing, by the looks of it. Let's just make a bunch more. I know I can quickly craft them, but it'll probably be quicker just to do it that way. There we go. Recently crafted cabinets. Probably going to be running out of uh, nails soon as well. Yeah, so we can fit three in there, but I think I'm out of nails. No, I'm out of wood beams. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever gone through a like full stack of wood beams. <laughs> I guess we are crafting a hell of a lot of stuff. Uh, so let's get 30 of those. I don't really have to worry about all these wooden resources too much because I do have a, a hell of a lot of wood just lurking around in chests. I came prepared today, like really, really, really prepared. Uh, so then we can put like just random goodies on there. I don't know what yet, but we'll have to find that out later. So yeah, a couple of carpets maybe down in the middle. Maybe I will put a little little table down there. Just to fill that area up. Where's that little side table? That's that one. A little small wooden table here. Uh, with maybe a stool. Maybe we go with... Oh, we can't use a log stool. We don't have a log piece. Not that it's, not <laughs> not that it's hard to make, but... Uh, maybe just a couple like so. And we got the plants grown in there. That'll fill up that area in the corner. Yeah, we just need wall stuff now. Definitely sat on this wall. Very, very big blank wall. Uh, we still need tons down here. Uh, maybe... Maybe something in this corner. I mean, that corner is probably pretty much good now once we get stuff planted in there. Uh, definitely this corner needs something. The trouble at the moment is there are some other things that you can't make in the editor. So we might have a look at that. Just have a flick through the editor and see what's in there. Because there's a lot of different entities that you can't actually make. That you can place around. Don't really want to do oriental chests. Or awnings or anything like that. I did say, I know we did say about the vases. But maybe they look kind of nice on the table. Maybe like one in the middle of the table. Let's just pop one of these upstairs as well. Maybe on this table there. Give it a bit of colour, because that's a hell of a lot of wood. That's more wood than you can ever imagine. Ooh, a brazier. That would look kind of cool in the corner. Do some nice lighting as well for the area. Um, I might put <laughs> some more some more barrels and stuff. I'm actually out of uh, resources for these now. Under the stairs. That might look kind of cool. You know, you always, you always dump random crap under your... Well, we, in this house, there's actually like a little cupboard. And I, I always put so much crap under there. It's like, oh, I'll sort it out later. And just just dump more stuff under there. So <laughs> that's my principle here. Yeah, we're out of nails. We're out of the nails. Okay. 
Another thing we need to do is start getting some of this glass on the go. So I might as well actually get this kiln up and running. Uh, and then we can actually start. Ooh, wrong thing. Use my flint and lighter. And then we can actually start getting stuff ready to do these cabinets inside the shop. Uh, I'm going to make one of each of these for now. Uh, I have a feeling it's these ones, but I just want to see what the other ones are like as well. So we'll make one just so I can test them out. Then. Obviously, windows and glass don't really fit in with my building styles for this town. So I haven't used them yet, so I have no clue what it looks like. Uh, oh god, this is actually gone. Did I, I not put stuff... I took it out but didn't put any more back in, really? I'm pretty sure we did. Never mind. I could have sworn I... Uh, Maybe I just got excited and was like, oh, nails, took them out. And I was just like, damn it. Always refill your uh, crafting stations. We could make craft rooms potion. Actually, could I? Oh, no, because I got rid of all the buckwheat to do the white on that. Never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah, that's something I have to do as well is start planting all that down. Uh, right, let's go do, I think we've got one. We have got one up there, but I think it's just going to be easier to go over to the Estrilled. She's on our way out, unfortunately. Uh, probably next building stream, we'll probably do the ship graveyard. Right, I want a couple of these ones. I like the color. I like the pattern on these ones. I want one of the sword and bow ones. Um, Egyptian one. No, I don't want any of the ones with the weird faces or stuff on. Uh, I won't do the trapdoor thing. But that, I mean, we could definitely do the trapdoor thing with this, with the carpet. Um, I might have a couple of those ones as well. I don't want to go too crazy because we've only got so much cloth. I do need a. We might need it for other stuffs because I did want to do some sacks and stuff. Um, you know what? Take that panther hide and the quill and ink. This drill's not going to need it. Oh, there's some more hide there as well. Let's take that. Let's just see what I can nab from around here. <laughs> Because we're not going to need a lot of this stuff. I mean, it still looked kind of cool to have some things on the... Because what we're going to do is I'm going to try and ram this up some... I think we're going to do with the ship graveyard over that way. But ram it up the side and then start breaking bits off. And then I'll make some masts and like have them like fallen over and stuff like that. And probably get rid of a couple of these masts. And then we'll do some other boats and absolutely wreck them. And maybe one of like a couple of the little smaller ones. Uh, so I'll be doing that on my next build stream. So we might as well nab a few things off of here. Because uh, I'll take that boar hide. It's so weird watching the uh, <laughs> the barrels open and the stuff on top of them not move. It's magic. Like those tricks where they, they pull the tablecloth off the uh, table. And everything's like perfectly still and not even wobbling. Uh, oh, I wanted resin, didn't I, for candles. So we can actually put a few candles around. There's another thing we probably should make while we've got the glass for it is a couple of lanterns. I have to remember to take all this iron ore out of here as well. Um, hmm, does that map have anything on it, I wonder? Let's have a look. It probably will now, but I don't know if it points to anywhere. No, no. I guess we could hang it on the wall as a little extra thingy. What else we got in here? I mean, I haven't checked these. I haven't checked this for God knows how long since, since the last time we used this boat like properly. I did use uh, <laughs> use it a tiny, tiny little bit in my explore stream on a different save, and then realised, wow, it's gonna take us absolutely forever to get anywhere. Um, so we ended up just leaving it, and then I spawned the the Valkyrian because it was so much faster. <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's going to take us like five hours just to explore the map and find all the different wirelands. It's like, we can't be having that. Uh, okay, so let's dump a bit of this in here because I don't really need all this. And I want room for... Leave room for dessert, right? You always got to leave room for dessert. No, room for all these carpets and stuff. Because we do need to place these down. So which ones? I want these ones inside the little uh, dining area. I want one of those up in the room. And then I guess we could use one of these in the other room. Do these not stack? Oh, they don't. That's annoying. I thought they stacked on each other. I don't know if I've ever made so many carpets, but uh, yeah, I want the sword and the shield one actually in the shop. 
Um, but I'm, I want to spray those a different color because I hate the default color of those ones. To be honest, I don't really like the default co color of these ones. So these are definitely going to need to be sprayed. I'm not sure what color scheme I'm going to go for. Maybe a nice red, like a deep red inside here. Um, I actually have a look to see if you can spawn those banners in as well in the editor because that would be look kind of nice this here and here unless they're called something else in the I would imagine they're just banners right ban no uh or they're not awnings so what would they be under if they were in here I have a feeling they're not in the game yet I guess I'm guessing you'll probably be able to craft them later um, I, I would imagine they're in the, the in the editor if because there's the stuff like the big wagon wheels and stuff that are in the editor that you can actually make in uh, explore mode. You probably can get them in craft in the uh, creative mode, but you can't in explore mode. Uh, right, so I hate placing carpets like multiple ones. Not sure if I oh, it might need one more. Because I was going to put it all under the table. And I just realised <laughs> spraying this is going to be a bit of a pain. Well, possibly. 50-50, right? So I think we're going to need another one of these ones. Um, so would it be a better idea to get it first before we place these down? Because I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to try and line up, right? Because we need to slowly trouble is it kind of like no wrong way can't actually see my controls the trouble is it does have the possibility of being out of float because it is clipped into something so it's not going to drop right down to the floor so how did I do that first time I do not know <laughs> the trouble is I need to do I actually might need two more let's see oh, I've got to try and line this one up now to try and get it I guess the easiest way to do it would be probably to perfectly line it up with this one then just shift it across would probably be the easiest way and just try and get it so it does its little oh we had it there we go so it does the little glitchiness so it's like half and half through and we can just carefully very very carefully slide that across um damn I guess that chair is sticking out kind of fast here. We just need one more. That look kind of cool like that. Give it a bit more colour underneath the table. Uh, once we get that done. I still think we need something else here. We can get the banners and stuff. Maybe I could have like just a... What round? Maybe like a round table half clipped through. Maybe sort of just half clipped through the... Uh, wall now the trouble is these aren't double thick walls so i can't clip it too far through let's quickly pop outside and uh, just just check that's not sticking out the other side i mean on th that side it won't be too bad because they are double thick walls but uh, we we're good we're good i also need something on here it's a very plain wall I, I might have to do some kind of pattern spray some pattern or something on there with uh, a slightly darker color brown or something uh, and then we can put like a little stool we can put a little can oh now we can make candles we can put a couple of candelabras on the uh, table exciting i i i love the fact that i've added those uh been able to make candles is it what words yeah, I love the fact you can make these. Oh yeah, actually, oh yeah, you got to make them at the blacksmithing station. Okay, uh, that will actually give us a chance to grab some more nails because we're out, aren't we? So let me quickly put a little stool down here just to fill this area up. Um, oh god, we can't make any of the good ones, can we? Because oh, I don't have any nails. Oops, screw it. <laughs> you can have a little iron stool. Why not? There we go. Something a bit different. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go get some more glass and then I can test out what this glass looks like so we can start doing some cabinets or something. Uh, making our own, making our own. A bit of a bodge job today. So let me have a look what the, the difference of these is. So that one's obviously a really thin one. Is this one? Oh, it is a diddy little one. It looked like a really fat one, but it's actually a like tiny, tiny diddy little one. 
Okay. Okay, this makes it even more interesting then. So I need loads of those diddlier ones, which is those ones. Because then we can use the really big ones for the top pieces of the cabinet and we can have it like really diddy around the outside. Ha ha. That will work out quite nicely. Uh, right. Then we might need to make some candle, ar uh, candle arbors for our table. Uh, not enough inventory space. Oh, God. Let's go place these carpets down. I need a backpack expansion. I really need like a some kind of slave. Can we tame one of the bears and I can just have it haul stuff around for me? Because I always have so much junk in my... Oh, no, we're in the wrong place. I've still got to do all the upstairs of that as well. Uh, I need to go upstairs here because we want one in the bedroom. and <laughs> definitely, don't, definitely don't want it bright pink. So this is definitely getting sprayed. So let's just plop that there. Um, I guess we have one in here as well. That can be the same one. Let's just put it in the center of the room. There we go. And then we, we I, I'll fill this with all stuff off camera because I have no idea. I'm going to have to make loads of bits and pieces. Maybe spray some different flasks to make them look like potions. And well, Oh, we do have all those toys and that. Like I said, <laughs> what the hell are we going to do with those? I guess we can plop them on a shelf somewhere, can't we? Because I don't know what else I would use them for. Oh, no, I found some more on that other map, but I got rid of them because I was like, why the hell? Would I wish I kept them now. <laughs> did, did we keep some? I think I got rid of like, the toy car and stuff, but I kept other bits and pieces. Uh, oh, God, we need loads of these as well, don't we? Um, okay. We'll make a few of each. I don't know if we have some of those. Let's... While that's all cooking, let's have a look, have a route around in our chest and see what we've got in here. Because I've got so much crap in a lot of these chests. I think, yeah, so we got. Oh, we can actually do that now, can't we? Uh, might as well. Let's clear out a bit of inventory space. Let's go pop these on a shelf. As why the hell not? Um. You know, I, I guess kids have got to play with something, haven't they? I oh, also got those hides that we took as well, didn't we? One nice thing is it does clear out all my inventory, all my chests of all this junk that we've got in them. Uh, let's put a book next to the table, not next, onto the, not table. Bedside cabinet is a table, but it's classed as a table in game. It's, you know, it's clearly a bedside cabinet. Like those little flat pack ones that you buy from like, you know, I don't know. It depends where you are in the world. I was going to say Argos, but that's just... A UK shop, I think. I don't think that's anywhere else. Right, so let's put some toys on the shelf. <laughs> I guess this is the playroom now. Maybe we should make some kind of... Oh, well, that would actually... <laughs> Again, we're kind of going off... Uh, especially using stuff like this. We're kind of going off theme here, but... I mean, there's only so much we can place around. Um, before, like... We're just placing the exact same thing as every single house in the town uh you know we want to make them look a little bit different so i i guess i guess we can kind of go off theme a bit just so there's a bit exciting coming into buildings and that really didn't place properly did it should we just let it drop and hope for the best yeah that place a lot better uh, and then we can put one of the little cylinders next to it and then what else we got we got a little toy soldier there we go, he's stand. Is that he actually the right way around? His front looks exactly like his back. I definitely won't want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what to, way to stand. I guess we're putting it... Oh, God, constantly bright. We're putting him, uh, put him at an angle. <laughs> that poor guy. He has no bum or no balls. Uh, let's put this on the next to the bed. Bit of uh, light reading before bedtime. We can put one of those candles down as well. Uh, obviously, <laughs> probably not the best idea. You'll probably end up burning your book, but, you know, who really cares? Uh, let's pull it over a bit. Oh, I thought that was actually clipping through. It's, we've actually had that really high. Um, maybe a pant for hide on the wall or something? Ah, wait a minute. Where's my nails? Where are they? Yeah, so we got to do this first before putting anything into these walls. We'll probably get away with it on here, but there's still these walls down here. So let's... Has anyone actually seen the uh, 
talking of Panthers, the Black Panther film yet. I won't go into detail about it just in case any of you are waiting to see it, but holy crap, that was a good film. Uh, I saw it, uh, when, when did I see it? Last, last uh, Friday? I blame going to that, because that's like the only wet place I've been other than work, and there was no one ill at work. Yeah, so I blame going to the cinema for the reason I got ill. <laughs> yeah, so you need to you need to put something into the wall as uh, it clips through, kind of like that. But I'm not too bothered about that. But there we go. But yeah, really good film. Definitely, if you're even if you're not into the superhero thing, it's definitely are definitely worth a watch. Um, the whole Wakanda theme was such a good. It was, it was just exciting. I don't I don't want to explain too much. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So that's as much as I'll say. Uh, anyway, anyway, on with the build, on with the build. Uh, so that's definitely something on the wall. I guess we could have like maybe, I've got a couple of smaller paintings. So maybe we could have like a smaller painting here and a smaller painting sort of down here. So sort of like not straight, straight across just to fill out the wall a bit more. That's not looking too bad. And oh, we need to make tons and tons of shoes, but I'll definitely worry about that later because I definitely don't have the resources for it. <laughs> we still need so much stuff for these shelves. Oh, let's put... Uh, Ink and quill on the desk. There we go. That's something else. Uh, what we got? A wolf hide. Maybe we can place this somewhere. Place this down here. There we go. Uh, there we go. I'm getting rid of all my junk now. I'm getting rid of all the junk out my trunk. We got a boar hide as well. Uh, the Spike, the trouble with the spikes is they're so big. I kind of like the nails because it looks like sort of, you know, you nail paintings up. Uh, I've used a lot of the spikes before, um, like for like my shields and stuff on the side of my boat. And they're just, they're so big and bulky. Um, I want it to be more subtle. So what I was using was, oh God, I got rid of them now. Um, let me let me get them. I'll, I'll show you what I was using. And it does look good. If you want something re even more subtle than the the spikes, what I suggest doing is... Let me grab them, my wooden pieces. Just... If, I mean, you probably could use a pole, but the trouble with the poles is they're really big. Um, these wooden pieces, I found, if you turn them around just the right way, which is something like that way. Uh, yeah, you normally do it inside the wall so you can see. But you can get one of these little bits just to stick out just a tiny, tiny little bit. Oh, there you go. And then if we push him back a bit. Because they're so small, you can have whoop, like that. So you can have just that tiny, tiny little wooden bit sticking out and you can connect it to that and it doesn't clip like right through the wall. That's kind of handy. I was using that before, but... Then, then I was just messing around with the nails and stuff for hanging up paint and so I was like, yeah, it looks kind of cool, like with them sort of nailed up, you know, someone's come and just banged it into the wall randomly. I kind of like that, but yeah, there's some little tricks. You, you sort of pick stuff up as you go along, just different things. <laughs> it's weird because uh, being able to place anything in this game, you can use different things for stuff that you, you wouldn't think. Um, so it's definitely handy for sort of collaborating with different ideas with other people and stuff like that but yeah spikes definitely would be good if you uh you, if you like the whole you know the massive spike sticking through kind of thing you probably could clip it quite far into the wall so the uh, spikes don't stick out too far uh okay let's get our little romantic table up Whoop. oh now we can make soups and stuff as well can't we we couldn't make those before um, so we can actually put some soups and stuff around instead of just putting bowls with <laughs> random herbs and stuff in. Uh, oh, we've we got a lot of forks. Apparently, I really wish these would uh, start flat. Uh, that way. And we need to uh, pull it up a bit. Uh, I think the easiest thing to do would just be let them yeah, drop on the table. Uh, saves us accidentally clipping them through. I'll have to make them unpick up a ball in the editor I think that'd probably be the easiest thing to do because the trouble with these sorts of things is obviously you can't really use it as a weapon but you can break them to get iron really easy like the little metal pieces and then go smelt that into iron um, so that's definitely something to consider 
I wonder if there's anything we could use as like little placemats or something. Because obviously we could dye something, so it doesn't really matter what color it is. Hmm. Let's have a look. Because there's a lot of these different signs. So I wonder if any of these are really, really small. A blacksmith sign might be quite small. Let's have a look. Nope. <laughs> That's way too big. I guess we could have one as the, the granddad. We could have actually oh, you know what? We could have this. If we flip it over so we, we don't get the horrible thing. Then we can dye it a different colour and we could have it uh, like as a sort of centerpiece tray or something. I think it is like a metally colour anyway, so might have to pick up that vase in a minute and uh place that back down. Let's pick that back up. Have it like as a little centerpiece bit, just just so uh, it's not all wooden table everywhere. There we go. Not too bad. I was actually going to dye a different colour, but that's, that silver doesn't look too bad. Uh, right, let's continue placing these four. I hate doing stuff like this. It's so fiddly. Um, I might just sort of bung these down. I might leave this as an off-camera thing. I, I think you kind of get the idea of what we're doing. We're just randomly placing forks and spoons and stuff down. Uh, let me flip that around slightly. I kind of want that one stuck up. Can we flip it around this way? There we go. Want a bit of an angle. But yeah, it, it's just fiddly work, this. I want to get on with some of the big stuff. Because I'm, I'm excited now. We c yeah. Let me just let me just bung these in here. I'll do this later. Now I've obviously got these kind of knives and stuff as well. Oh, another thing I can do is my little thing that I did on my ship with the... Uh, the little knife throwing board. Oh, considering that's the games room, maybe we could. Have we got. Oh, we could actually do it on this wall here. Ah, so I forget what it was called. It was just a target, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, this thing. So if we make one of those small targets, I do have to make a bunch of knives now. But oh, wrong way around. So if we clip that into the wall. <laughs> or not. Let's pick it back up again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Right, that's bright. So that means that's good, right? Yeah, okay, it is. Uh, and then what you do is with like these knives, if you flip this around, you can have them kind of like stuck in there. You know, like they're throwing knives at him. I did that on my boat uh, a long time ago. Uh, just because we had the the table there, so I put a couple on the captain's table to you know look like he's been sitting there at board throwing knives at a target. That well, looked kind of cool. Just the just the extra little bit of detail. Okay. Anyway, any anyway anyway anyway. Right. Let's do. I have no idea what we're going to put in these cabinets. I guess we could put like gold and stuff because from our explore stream we did get a hell of a lot of gold coins and oh you know another we got. Because we did find finally found uh, we found one NPC I think so far on that on that save, but she did she did sell some like random totems and stuff, and they look pretty damn cool. So we might have to figure out somewhere to put that. It wouldn't really fit in with the town, but we could definitely like have them selling them in a shop or something. So that might look kind of cool in the shop. You know what? I did put no. Let's just make a couple of knives just to put on that board. Uh, but I need to make a hell of a lot of uh, nails. With oh, we're running out of iron. Well, I'm not actually running out of iron, but it means I have to smelt some more iron, which I don't really want to smelt some more iron. Uh, I think we're definitely going to have to get some buckwheat planted so I can make some more craftsman's potions just because it makes this so much easier. Um, to be honest, it's better when you know what you want to make because you can make it all in one go. To be honest, I'm kind of sort of just coming back and forth doing stuff willy-nilly, but let's go get some iron on the go. Holy damn. <laughs> I did notice that. That's from when I was uh, using the smoothing tool in the editor. That's lovely, isn't it? I'll sort that out later. Uh, okay, so I believe... Never mind. We, we got iron in here. Okay. Oh, what was... Oh, that's safe, wasn't I? We were going to make that safe. Seems we're by the forge. What did we need? Cogwheels, steel plates. So we're halfway to our steel plate target. 
I think I did have some cogwheels in the uh, other chest up top, but we'll make some anyway. So I need... Oh, hello. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do we need? We need five steel plates. Yeah, and then we we'll make a bunch of cogwheels just to be on the safe side. There we go. Uh, oh, we need a light as well, don't we? That might be handy. There we go. Uh, and we get ourselves a safe made. Uh, I guess... <laughs> This is the only trouble with this. No, my house is on fire! God damn it! Yeah. Uh, okay, enough of dicking around. Let's get some more nails on the go, because I'm going to go through these like anybody's business today. It's such a big place to fill with stuff. Let me just look at what I did in the inn. So we got, we, we got the plants and stuff in the inn. Does that give myself some ideas of what I've done in here to fill up the area? Um, oh, one thing. Uh, the rooms are pretty box standard. What did I do up here? So I did double tables with some pots. Guess we could do something similar. Yeah, I guess I could put like a weaving loom or something. Like the spinning wheel. I don't think I've got that anywhere in the town yet. It's kind of just sat over there. So I guess we could put a spinning wheel somewhere. That would... Uh, fill up the area a bit more, maybe upstairs. Let's go stick these knives in, in the board. Uh, and I guess we'll make a spinning wheel. Maybe you have it up here, just because we could easily fit one in here, or if I move that wolf pelt, we could have it there next to the barrels. Yeah, Ooh, seems pretty cool. Uh, right, let me just put these knives in here, just so I, I forget to do this as well. It's kind of like little thing out of the way. <laughs> or not. Uh, yeah. I'm terrible at players and stuff. I really am. It looked like it was in. Hate the perception in this game sometimes. There we go. That's that's in. Let me just put that. Oh, and actually, I bet, better keep hold of that knife. I'm probably going to need it. Uh, okay, so I think this was, is it a spinning wheel or weaving weaving loom? Spinning. Oh, it's like I should put some of those in the forest. That would look kind of cool. Uh, we're out of rope. We need some rope. Oh, I'm out of grass. Holy damn! I think I I did plant a load, so we should be okay. If I need any more, don't we? Don't really need rope for too much, so pretty sure we'll be okay uh, which way should we have this probably this way obviously they could like drag a stool over and then sit on it and I'm not I'm so glad I'm not on webcam today because the actions I was doing just didn't look good um, <laughs> pulling actually yeah, okay let's not go there uh, right anyway it's come along it's come along Definitely need to uh, maybe consider these cabinets. All right, I don't know how big these cabinets are and what I want to make the bottom bit out of, whether I just want to do logs or just the cubes. The cubes are a bit boring. Maybe use some stone or something. Um, could use some of the fancy. The trouble with these is these are really big, so we we got to watch out for the blocks we use. Oh, there is the decorated stone blocks. Uh, I think I've gone past them, haven't I? Yeah, these ones. Um, if we flip them on their side, then they look kind of cool. Uh, they're pretty easy to make, so I've got bun bunches and bunches and bunches of stone in this chest. Just so we're not using wood for everything. Uh, and because it's like a case, yeah, it can be a bit more elaborate. Like a little bit more elaborate. It's not like over the top. Obviously, we could use some fancy blocks like this, but it'd be we need something flat. So let's use those. Make a bunch of oh, oh, balls. <laughs> I forgot they don't make one at a time, does it? Uh, and then we need to uh, flip these on this side so we get to see the, the cool side bit to it. Now, we probably want this kind of close to the door. Uh, I might make them... Oh, that's the thing is the corner's not going to look as good. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Um, oh, you know what? Let's have just the... This front bit facing like this. Uh, so this is going to bug the hell out of me that we got like one block. 
<laughs> like not you know with not the fancy bit on uh, and then we need to do the same on this side i actually didn't really need to place that one so we need to make it the same. is that the same width yeah it is okay have that come round um i think maybe this does need to go up. oh no i've done that the wrong way already we should have just left it how it was yep maybe this does need to come up one higher like so it the case fits on this level because, I mean, let's let's have a look at that. Yeah, because, I mean, the character's quite tall. Don't, don't look as tall when you're in first-person mode, but, yeah, yeah, pretty lanky. So, yeah, I think probably this level. Uh, we could even have the case, maybe even... No, I think two, two high is a bit too much. Two high is too much. So, if we have it coming across like this, obviously we're going to need to fill in that this bit because you're going to see it but I don't know maybe we could even use a, a different thing to fill in that bit no actually I think we just do it in stone because I, I've it's going to come right to the edge anyway so the trouble with stone is I, I need to quickly get this place down and look at it just in case I don't like it because if we don't yeah it's, I guess we could remove it in the editor just quickly but it's I, I ain't sitting here knocking this out like it, it's not happening it's definitely not happening oh that's wrong oh balls it's because we went to another stack you mess me up they need to change that okay oh god light give me light yes that doesn't look too bad i kind of wish we had it right up to the side on this but it doesn't really matter too much uh, and then if we play i think it's these little ones down wouldn't it oh they don't go right to the edge this is oh this means I'm gonna have to do some clipping, this doesn't it? Yeah, that means that one's gonna have to it's gonna have to do two clipped ones. I oh, know that's not gonna work. Damn it! I guess I can do something else in the corner, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I might have to do something else in the corners. Just to join that up. Yeah, because that's not going to look very good else. I don't know. I think, may, yeah, I think maybe it does need a... Quick, 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 quick. Do the outside ones first. Yeah, I think we we do one, one layer of stone uh, and then two layers of glass. So there's a lot more glass to stone. Uh, which means we could actually just use those big panels instead of these tiny little ones. It look a bit better, a bit better than this, because yeah, I'm not liking all this stone. I'm really not. Like I like it, but I don't. It, I think there's a bit too much of it. I mean, it needs to be lower down. I mean, it, I guess it's gonna look better in third person mode if it's a bit taller, but in first person mode, it looks it looks better like this. Looks better to be a bit lower down than anything. Then we can have two layers of glass. And then we, I guess we're going to have to find what we want to put in there. But like I said, we've got some gold stuff on the other save that I want to bring over. So we could maybe put some like gold chalices and stuff. Maybe some rarer items. Um, I mean, technically those toys are really rare items. So maybe we should have a case full of toys instead of the toys on the shelf. Uh, but I think definitely... Oh, well, let's go let's go get some more glass on the go uh, and let's go do the counter upstairs as well because i think definitely upstairs i want to make it so oh, we, oh we didn't light it we didn't light it guys <laughs> i uh, i just assumed it would still be going there we go <laughs> god damn it let's get some one bit of glass on the go uh yeah so i don't really think upstairs we do the upstairs is like all bear fur different furs like exotic furs so this would be like an exotic fur trader so we definitely maybe just some tables or something maybe like a just a big row of tables all across here with all just all different furs on maybe some hanging on the walls um maybe a couple of barrels maybe some chests or something under the stairs uh, but i definitely think we need a counter here i got rid of the blocks we need didn't i why why, why did you let me get rid of the blocks guys i, I <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, we're not going to need those anymore. Uh, needs them. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we did leave them in this chest. Yeah. No, that's not the ones I wanted. Oh, God. Where the hell did I put them? Uh, I definitely need you as well. Damn it. Where the hell did I put them? We got some coins. Oh, diamonds. Again. So what else we can put in a cabinet. Obviously, they're rare. Can we actually do anything with these? Oh, maybe we could... Hmm, I know it's a shop, but maybe we could make it sort of museum-y as well. Because we could put some of these, like, old relics or something in it. <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense, but it's something else that's kind of, like, interesting-ish. So we do have a few different things. out oh, there. there they are. Okay, that's all I wanted. Yeah, so we fill that up. Um, so we got that done. We need. Uh, we still need to do the little outside. I've got so much to do. So much to do. I need to stop rambling on and just <laughs> just crack on with this. I was never going to get it done. Um, how how big do I want this count? I don't really. I guess we can make it kind of thin here, uh, and then have it come out this way a bit, and then be like really long this. way. Damn it. Never mind. I, well, I should have just made some in the first place. <laughs> I mean, we're, oh, it's not actually. Oh, they're not called cubes now, are they? Er, what are they called? They're just called blocks. They used to be called wooden cubes. Yeah, just wooden blocks now. Uh, broken saw. That happens pretty much every stream I do, unless it's an explore stream. I don't think I've ever broke a saw on an explore stream, but. Obviously, build streams, normally when we do buildings, it's like, oh yeah, I need like a thousand friggin... Oh, let's remove that as well. I need like a uh, a thousand plank blocks, so I'm, I'm forever going through saws. I have about eight of them now, <laughs> saws, that I usually have in my inventory for when I'm doing stuff like that. Uh, also, these corner blocks need to get removed, don't they, so we can put the fancy... That fancy little corner piece on them. And then we need to do logs. So, ooh. oh, we need to do a fancy corner piece on the inside as well. I can't wait till we get this town done because I can actually experiment with some different materials because I want to make Asgard out of metal and stone. Because uh, obviously for this one, it's pretty much just been using wood for the most part, uh, with a bit of stone. Luckily, once we get back to the Jarl's town, the Jarl's big house, uh, that's going to be like a lot of stone. Uh, so I have some ideas for some really, uh, you can make some just straight up stone pillars, but I uh, ha already had some ideas for some cool DIY stone pillars that I want to try out. I'm probably going to make that a lot out of stone. I want to try and make a stone statue in the editor <laughs> out of actual actual rock stone. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to go. I did say maybe I'd try one off camera and then if it come out well, we do the, the second one because I want one either side on camera because I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't really want to do a whole stream of me just doing that for like four hours. That's not going to be interesting, right? Uh, let's just dump this on the floor for now. I don't have any inventory space. I need to build my favourite block of all time. It's actually not my favourite block. I've used it so much. So, in that regard, it is. Uh, there we go with our little counter. Uh, and then maybe we have maybe like a couple of cabinets of sorts. Maybe maybe one of these in this corner here. I definitely just threw that down, didn't I? I think mean, that's right against the wall. Oh, it is, is it? <laughs> it's not even close. It looks like it is. It's, it's nowhere close. Not even close by. Uh, okay, there we go. Back you go. And then we have one of the other ones behind the desk area. One of these ones. I do like these ones. These ones are quite pretty looking ones. Uh, maybe have a chest behind the desk area as well. 
Everyone knows big pirate chests. I was looking at. I was eye eyeing that up earlier. Storage chest there. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we just need to go crazy on the tables. And, uh, space. Anything we can get rid of? Oh, stack that up. There we go. Yeah, maybe just crazy on the tables. I, may, I mean, guess we could have like a, a couple of tables in the middle. Maybe we could use the iron tables. Probably going to run out of iron pretty quickly. Yeah, these ones. Just they're a bit different from the big table downstairs in the dining area. Are they actually different at all? They're just made out of different things. Nope. <laughs> I not no I wish the little thing wouldn't actually appear over the picture. They're exactly the same. I guess we make two and find out. Quick. I, I'm just curious. I want to see if they're different or why the reasons there's two different ones are made out of exactly the same materials. They, oh, okay. This one has a little drawer on it. Okay, yeah, we don't want that one. I don't want you. You're boring. Well, you're not boring. You're actually quite interesting, but that's definitely more of a computer table. These ones definitely remind me of like those really cheapo tables you get, and like your parents get you when you're younger, like depending on your age. Uh, it did me. Like, a, like really cheapo computer table inside my uh, bedroom. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about when I was like 13 years old or something like that. I guess we could dye them a different colour, maybe so they're not as bright, maybe so it's more of a, a dark grey colour instead. Uh, and then we guess we have a few in the middle here. Uh, I guess we use the same kind of tables. Or in, yeah, those ones as well. Oh, you'd have your TV and your, uh, like, I don't know, PlayStation or something underneath. Uh, oh, perfecto. A couple of those in the smack bang in the middle. Uh, and then maybe a little little one on the end, just to make it look a bit more random. Uh, we got a little round one? No, that's the only little round one. I don't want the TV table. Um, I guess this one then. Just put one of these on the end. Just so it's it's a bit more random and higgledy piggy. It'll look a bit different once we get um, hides and stuff on the top of those, just because there's nothing on there. And like I said, we can dye them. It's actually a lighter colour than the rest as well. So that definitely needs spraying. Okay, right, that's that done. So let's actually figure out this cabinet situation now. So again, going to have to do something about the corners. I'm not sure what I want to do about the corners yet. Uh, that's definitely something to figure out. Maybe some pier supports. Obviously, we could have them going right up to the roof. So I think they're... I can't remember how tall they are. They're fairly tall, though, which is uh, a bit of a problem. But they're kind of fit in there quite nicely. I don't really want to use a big fat block. Not really, but might have to. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, oh. Is this going to snap to... This is not going to fit, is it? Oh, balls. Um... It will, but I got a free place. <laughs> I don't want to free place it. There's so much to free place. I'd rather not. I would really rather not. You're going to have to, though. There is no way around this whatsoever. Uh, plus, I might want to do it because I think we're going to have to use some of the smaller ones at the back. Oh, they're so big, I can't get over them. Right, let's let's do it from this side. Let's free place these ones. I really hate having to free place stuff, especially when it's got to be super precise. And a lot of it as well. Can, can we just jiggle that to the top a bit? Maybe push it down just a little smidgen. That's about right. Now we just need to line it up. Now please pray this doesn't move when I click this. Because if it stays in the same place, we should be able to just... Push it across and then push it the other. Oh, it moved. Of course it did. <laughs> of course it did. It's never going to be that easy, is it? 
Why can't you just clip through the other one and just stay there? Just stay there. Look really pretty. There we go. Ooh, backwards controls. The music's gone all quiet and stuff as well. Like tense moment trying to place this down properly. I still don't look right. We need more glass anyway. Like way, way more glass. I think we need actually... Oh, I made loads of the smaller ones, didn't I? Damn. Damn, 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 damn. All right, let's get rid of this stone for now because I don't need that at the moment. Might just leave this. <laughs> I had plans to make a pond today, so I kind of want to get on with that. I didn't really think this was going to take so long. I mean, it's only inside stuff. You know what? Screw it. Let's go do it. Let's do something interesting. I'm probably Because I'm probably not going to be streaming so much. Else I'm really going to lose my voice. I'm probably going to be completely out of breath and the antibiotics are going to kick my ass as well. And I'll probably start getting really, really tired. So let's start making a pond. So I got this area. I want to make a fairly large pond. So let's try and just map it out what we're going to do. Um, so I probably want to have a way to come in and around it. And then maybe some kind of like plants at the back. Maybe some, uh, there's a small benches that you can make out of wood. Maybe place those down as well. Uh, I'm going to make it a frozen pond, obviously. So we're actually going to try and utilize some of the ice blocks. But they, they have changed them. I am going to put some try and put some water in it as well. But I want to have some big ice blocks coming out of it. And maybe just like floating on the surface. So I think we start about here. And start just digging this out. Uh... I'm not sure if I want to go in the editor and smooth this down. I probably will need to change the color of the bottom of it. I'm kind of happy with it sort of being quite rugged looking. Uh, not like completely smooth surfaces. Uh, I think the easiest way to show it is that compared to like that. I'm not really bothered about that. Like, I mean, we can probably clip some bits of stone and stuff into the side. Not like all around the side, but maybe just here and there. Uh, maybe put some rocks, maybe a few stepping stones in the... I think we can only do that in the editor. So we can't we can't actually make those. I think we can spawn them in and place them. We can spawn them in in the editor and then pick them up and place them. But we can't make them and place them. Which kind of sucks because, I mean, <laughs> it's just a slab of stone, right? Unless it is in here. I think it's called step stone. Nothing whatsoever. Um, right, so I need to leave some space. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I'm not worried about that coming out. I'm not really worried about the shape as well. If it just comes out like a completely random shape, the better. Like, I want it. I'd want it to look a bit more natural rather than, you know, it's you know like those big ponds that you buy that are like already formed to a certain shape. I don't really want it to look like that. <laughs> Or like, a, I guess you could just do a perfect square and that'd be kind of a nice one. I used to have a big pond like that at one of my older houses that I lived at. Um, had a, you know, it was really expensive to upkeep because I'd have a couple of pumps running like 24-7 because I had koi in it. Um, and I also needed cleaning all the time. That's why I haven't, <laughs> haven't done another pond since, but... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work to own, like, a big pond. It's nice, especially, like, if you have, like, barbecues or stuff in the summer. It's nice to have, like, a really a pond to sit around and just, like, chill out and watch. But it's definitely not something that you uh, will want to have 24-7. Uh, it's, it's a lot of maintenance. It's easier to go to a friend's house and appreciate their pond <laughs> rather than have one of your own. Unless you're, like, really big into that. Like, uh, the fish are pretty, but... I'd rather just have like a decent sized fish tank. That's way too big. Um, actually, am I bothered about you getting all the way around the back of there? You know what? I'm not. Because we can have seating areas around these sort of sides. So let's just pull this out this way a bit more. I guess we could always put a little island in the middle as well and have like a little bridge going over to it. Hmm. So I could make a similar kind of little bridge like I did going up to that. You know what? That's a better idea. I kind of like that. Okay, could have like a little utopia in the middle there. Like a little small island with maybe maybe a tree or 
maybe a bush elder elderberry bush maybe one like the little dwarf pines or something and we can just add some seating areas at the side here hmm yeah, i like that a bit better it might need to go a bit deeper uh, i'm gonna have to probably probably just build the little middle island bit in the editor I think it'd be easier means we can uh, utilize some different tools let's make it a little bit deeper I haven't actually messed, I don't even know if you can, I'm sure you can. I'm not sure how it works. Uh, so I'll show you in the editor just for those of you who don't actually play Wildlands and just watch it. Uh, the editors, it's good. It's a bit fiddly though. You've got a few different shapes that you can utilize to uh, place and remove and flatten and smooth, but you can't really sort of do it just like a, a little square at a time. It's like a ginormous cylinder or a circle. Uh, there's like a sort of diamond shaped as well. Uh, I guess this we don't need to worry about. We can just delete that in the editor. Save picking up a load of garbage. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, next thing on the agenda is have I got oak tree seeds? Uh, conifer seed, tall oak tree seed. We don't have many of them. Ah, balls. I thought I had more than this. Maybe I'll check some on my chest. Uh, let's plant a couple of these tall ones down on top here. But I wanted uh, this area around here. I kind of wanted to start surrounding it with oak trees, which was going to be the plan all along. Um, I wasn't sure about do what I wanted to do in the middle here. That's why I came up with a pond. But I wanted to fill the area up with some kind of trees or loads of bushes so it, so it just breaks up a bit because obviously i'm trying to break up from the snow it's kind of just been rather than sort of wham bam thank you sort of get the buildings place but now now i've got all the buildings i want here because the only building that's going to be up here is actually going to be the yarl's place which we'll, we'll do that in the editor start maybe sorting that out as well um i think that's everything we need to do i still got free seeds on me it says i've still got no i don't have free seeds damn you i kind of wish i did have free seeds I don't think any, no, they're not. Dwarf pine, no, they're just conifers. Uh, let me quickly check the chest over here. I think I did dump a load of seeds in here because I kept getting so many tall conifer tree seeds. Uh, and I had a load of grass seeds as well, but I don't need grass seeds. No, nothing. Uh, I guess that's going to be something I have to go get off camera then because I'm going to have to go to a different island to get those, uh, which is kind of annoying. But we can definitely do that later. I mean, there's no rush. I just kind of wanted to get them planted down because it's going to take a while for them to actually grow up. Um, I was going to do the paths and stuff. How long have we been streaming for? Yeah, we've been streaming for two hours. I was going to start doing the paths and stuff, but I won't worry about that. We'll we're, we're just work on this pond now. Uh, and then I'll do the rest of the inside as well. So all right, let's return to the main menu. Let's jump into the editor. And then we can start messing around and... Uh, I guess have a mess around with it. I don't even know if you can do water. I always imagine you can. Else I'm going to have to build like some kind of, well, we're going to have to dig out a little funnel from the sea so the sea fills it up and then close it back up again. I think that'd be the only other way to do it. I would assume you can though. I would assume you just, uh, I'll show you once you get in, but you select all the different materials you want to use. From the, a little bar, I would imagine there'd probably be water on there. You know, another thing I really want to do is just keep digging down. I'm going to do it at some point. I'll do it off camera because I really want to know what's at the bottom of the world. There's probably nothing. You probably just fall through the map, but it'd just be fun. I don't know. It's just one of those things you want to find out, right? Sometimes you, you just got to try things out and see what happens. Come on. You can load it. You can load it. But I love what they've done with the editor now, especially since you spawn at your character. It just makes things so much easier. Spawning at your original spawn point every time was an absolute nightmare. And there she is with her jetpack on. Uh, Okie dokie. Right. So in the editor, you've got loads of different tools for like moving stuff. We can uh, select everything and just hit delete, get rid of it, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can also... Uh, I believe you can you can duplicate trees so if I do get a few trees that I like the sizes of um, because obviously trees grow randomly I think most of these tall conifers grow exactly the same but if we look at some of the other conifers the smaller ones 
you see some grow like really big and some are like really tiny and then you got like the little dwarf ones and stuff um so if you do get sizes and stuff you like it's is a bit easier to do like building wise in this so i don't mean you can just spawn trees in let's just have a look i think it's just seeds isn't it you can do saplings seeds you can do festive trees and stuff i didn't notice that i didn't notice that before uh, anyway so we've got all the the building and terramorphing tools here so i'm guessing yeah water so we can just place water in uh now <laughs> placing water in with this it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun but first we need to build up the area with some snow i'm not sure what i want at the bottom of this if i want to just have it painted dirt i guess we could actually paint it somewhere else we could have gravel if we really wanted to what's clay coal i think dirt might yeah, i don't think dirt's gonna look very good flint it's light, really light color. Sulfur, gold. Ooh, golden pond. Could be like magical. I should paint it with grass as well. Anyway, let's build this up with just some snow at the moment. Because obviously once we want it snowy anyway. Um, I'm not sure if we need to actually make this a bit bigger as well. You know what, let's do this. Let's make it a bit bigger first. So if we just hold the button down. you got to be careful because it does... It takes a little while to start removing it, but once it does remo start removing like a sort of chunks of it, it just kind of like starts really eating it up super, super quick. So you do have to be a bit gentle and quick with moving the buttons off. Obviously, if you just want to do little bits at a time, you can just click, but you know, holding the mouse button down is so much easier, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to keep clicking, but as you see, it starts to do it very slowly and then it just starts to really eat at it super, super quick. So you do have to be a bit careful with this. Um, when I was building out this, I ended up making so many holes that were way too deep. And it took a lot of work, mainly because I haven't used the editor before to start removing and placing stuff back and removing it again. So let's switch this to dirt. So it starts removing some of the dirt. You can have it. I think if you just leave it on this one, it will remove everything. But if you only want to move specific materials, it's definitely better to select it just to make sure. Um, I guess that's kind of handy with having different materials. So you could always paint stuff uh, with the, the painting brush, like different colors. So if you've sectioned off like an area and you want to make sure you don't remove that, you could paint it in, say, gold and then just tell it to remove snow and then you know you're not actually gonna you know accidentally remove that gold bit that you got like completely perfect and then paint it back to snow afterwards i think that would be the the safest bet to do it because if we do it this way as you see it's starting to remove everything but uh i guess we could smooth out the underneath of this just a little bit the trouble is it is filling it up again as you can see the smoothing tool is good but it uh, it sometimes doesn't really do what you want it to do. It's uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Kind of looks kind of nice. Right, so now we need to build up a little island in the middle. I'm going to use actually we'll stick just a cylinder tool, just for now, just because I don't want like a sort of a floating orb, which if I use the other one the uh, sphere I will get like a floating orb I actually want it to be connected to the bottom so let's build up a, a little area around here unfortunately there's no uh, music in the editor which is kind of annoying <laughs> it would be nice if there was some music in the background well, I'm not I've never heard any music in the background but it's very very quiet so I'm trying to I'm trying to fill the void with just random random jargon so if I start going on about stuff and you're like what the hell is he talking about that's why because it's it's just going to be super super quiet I tend not to like having my streams be really really quiet uh so that's not too bad I guess we could instead we could have it coming out at the back a bit as well we have this little island place in the middle and then we get to do the uh the water which i have never i've never placed water with this thing i'm not sure how it's going to work because obviously water is a is a item that moves around actually let's just quickly have a look at the sea now so it's still um <laughs> i'm not sure what's going to happen when you log back into the game and it suddenly starts moving again i guess that would be the number one question 
Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I don't want it coming out too far because I do want to fill a lot of water in. But just having a little island, maybe we could have like a chest or something on it. I mean, it's not exactly the hard place to find, but you know, maybe just like a, a secret little chest. Maybe like a little community chest. So the townsfolk go there and, uh, I don't know, they add random items they don't need for, I don't know, the gods <laughs> for anyone. And you as the random player just comes and steals it. I guess that could happen, right. So, and that doesn't look too bad at all. So we can have a little bridge coming over to it. Maybe have like a little bush. I don't think we put tree. Uh, I guess there is that weird. I did remove them. I don't have them there now. I had a couple there. Um, <laughs> go check the vods. But there are some uh, some better ones around. Uh, there's ones with uh, little purple flowers. One of those won't look too bad because I don't actually have any of those planted around. The terraformer gun. That, oh yeah, I I totally forgot about that. There is the gun, isn't there? Um, oh, that's only in the creative mode, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's only for creative mode maps. I guess, uh, could I change this to creative mode? I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'd probably have to change the game mode for that, because unless I can if I switch to this, no. Oh, and then use it on my map. Yeah, yeah, that probably would be the best idea. And then I guess I can delete it afterwards because I, I don't want it lurking around on my Explorer one. Uh, let's have a look. So what was it called? Terraformer gun. This place went down then. Right, okay. Let's do the rest of the editor stuff then uh, before I start messing around with that. Right, so I wanted to move this area up and make it bigger. Uh, I think. Or do I want to... No, because I want, I want the Jarl's house to sit above everything else. Uh, I think what we do is we have the pathway come through here and then go up and then back again and then we can have two big statues next to it. So I think what I want to do is raise all this area up quite high, maybe up to about as high as this is, maybe a little bit lower, and then we'll just raise this down a bit. Um, so it's about where my mouse is, about that level, I think. It's probably going to be the easiest way to do things, I think. So if we grab some snow and just, let's actually just make this huge absolutely so because it, it's going to be a big building so it, it needs to have a big area to sit on uh, it probably come all the way back to about here i would imagine uh, especially because we we don't want it, the stairs to go straight up into the building so let's pull it back a bit i mean it doesn't really matter if there's gaps underneath here it's not really the biggest of deals and we can always once we've got the building on here come back in and uh smoothing off the area make it look pretty later on after we've actually done the building so um, don't know when i'm gonna do that building. probably leave that building to the last building i do actually no i'll probably leave the catacombs up there for the last build i do on this this island at least it won't be on this save because we've, we've <laughs> i've got asgard to do but and then after that i'll probably turn it into an adventure map and release it as like a part one or something uh, and then we can continue on building Asgard together, uh, which I think I'm going to actually just build randomly out at sea. So I'm actually going to build it on an island that's already here. Uh, we're going to kind of make our own island, I think. Maybe. I think that might look kind of cool. That's way too high, though. It doesn't matter. We can easily remove that. You see what I mean? It does go super fast. If you you got to watch your clicks, because if you just hold the button down and go... And don't keep moving. That happens. So that's fine. We, we can smooth it out with, I think it's a flattening tool. It's kind of a nice little tool to use. Yeah, that's, yeah, that should about. I mean, if we look at, let's have a look at, if you look at the sh shop, the floor print, uh, floor print for the shop, 
Now it's probably gonna come out about that big. It's gonna be a big long ass building with loads of stone pillars and fancy stone decorations, probably an upstairs as well. So if we think that shop's about that big in size, yeah, probably needs to come back just a little bit further then. It also means it fills up the area quite nice. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do as well is maybe put some kind of fencing. <laughs> I probably won't do it around the whole entire town, but maybe once we've done the forest and expanded the forest out, I'll probably have some of the forest coming around here before it sort of peters off. Maybe like connected to the forest um, just to make it look a bit more authentic. I do have some ideas for some fencing. It's going to take a long time to do, so I'll probably do like part on cam and do the rest off cam just because obviously it's not gonna make for the most interesting of content just me sort of placing fences around constantly uh not like that sort of you know like not that sort of fencing um i am using logs maybe with spikes or something and then i had idea with kind of like a sort of maybe after like so many sections doing like a big stone plinth with some kind of like little watchtower on uh, and do that a couple of times throughout depending on how big the area is for the fencing um i mean the fence is really only going to need to be this side and then the opposite on the other side because this is all going to be buildings over here so don't need to worry about like doing fencing around there i mean if i really want to do like an authentic sort of viking-esque um sort of seaport town obviously i would do fencing right into the sea but <laughs> that's just a bit ridiculous the town's got kind of big now um it definitely got a lot bigger than i initially initially started with just because i've had so many ideas and uh, there's been a lot going on like a hell of a lot going on right i think we just use a flattened tool now so if we start at this area oh i didn't select it there we go it's gonna say what the hell is it not doing it is it not going to do it? No, no. Come on, flatten it out. You know you want to. Is it because we've got snow selected? Let's select all. No. You don't want to flatten it out? Oh, it's, oh, I've got the painting tool on, haven't I? That would be why. Uh, right, so I need to try and get it to do it this way. Yes, I realise that. Unfortunately, the delay, I always realised it before you saw it. All right, there we go. So we flatten this out. If I can try and get it to... I might just have to remove some of these bigger bits. Because it's kind of not like using the... It's similar to using the shovel in a way, but it's a bit more finicky. Let's make it as big as possible. Try. you got to try and keep it on the same level for the most part <laughs> is what you're doing it with right, let's carry on let's carry on let's try and build it out a bit let's try and get a basic I can always come back in with a smoothing tool afterwards yeah, this is actually a bit higher than I wanted I think we need to remove some of this Remove a little bit of it because it's actually coming out too high now. It's, oh god, that's going too fast. So I wanted it about this height here. Let's remove these big bits so they don't get all in our way. There we go. Try to do it as quick as possible so I can get on with other stuff before I end for today. No, come on, get that rid of that little bit. I hate little floating bits. Probably going to have a few little floating bits there, but never mind. Never the mind. Okay, there we go. That's better. I can shrink a little uh, tiny bit down. Like so, and just zoom in and get rid of these bits. Oh, no, wrong thing again. I am so fucked up on antibiotics, it's not even funny. <laughs> My head's not all there. <laughs> Today is really not. I'm starting to feel so tired as well. 
All right, let's get rid of those. That should give us a bit of a decent base. I can always come in with a spade in uh, explore mode and get rid of these as much as possible. Sometimes you don't really notice. I don't really want to uh, get getting in the way of my buildings and stuff you see, unfortunately. You know, you think you're doing a big building. You have weird blocks getting in your way and it won't let you place other blocks. So you've got to be a bit careful with these tiny little things roaming around everywhere. Yeah. Okay. That gives us a fairly good base. I need to clean it up a bit. Let's use the smoothing tool just to get rid of it. Some of these edges a bit. Oh, <laughs> kind of making a cave there. That would actually make a kind of nice cave. Unfortunately, I don't want it. So you're going to have to go. It's because we've got those little floating bits all over the place. Kind of sucks. There we go. Let's get rid of those. I love just watching stuff. It kind of looks like it's melting. Oh, it was too hot. It's just all melting away. You. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so we definitely need to smooth this area out. Oh, God, unfortunately. Oh, kind of a bit of an avalanche going on. Uh, that actually worked out better than I thought. I was expecting it to uh, suddenly sort of leave a big opening around. So I do need to try and get rid of this without damaging that side bit. Uh, no, 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 don't you dare go inside that bit. Uh, let's remove a bit of this. Cause we're going to have a too big a slope down this way, which I don't want. I want to try and keep the slopes fairly steep up into the forest. So I do have plans to uh, have some. I have some plans why I want to do that later. You probably won't find out until we've actually played the map why. So I don't mind them in too steep, and that there's there's another reason why I want to make the uh, forest like super dense, so it's hard to walk through. Uh, which does mean if you've got a crap computer, you're probably going to have trouble loading this because that is a lot of trees and a lot of entities spawning in. But it shouldn't be too bad. Right. Okay. 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 That should be good enough for now. Might come in, manually do stuff with the spade. Uh, just like to chisel off this area a bit. Maybe remove some of this. I uh, kind of like doing stuff with the spade a bit more man. Uh, doing it this way, it means we can clear out bigger area quicker, but I kind of like doing it manually in explorer mode. Uh, that's why I kind of like building in explorer mode rather than like doing stuff in the editor or just doing stuff in creative mode. A bit more of a challenge. Okay, that's not too bad. Um... So yeah, we've got a nice big area for the Arles place. So it's going to be a massive building. So we've got that done. So I think that's all we needed to do in the editor. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I do need to clean that up, but I need to get rid of the logs that are there because actually we'll need those. But then I'll probably come in and uh, just delete all those. Oh, who are these penguins over there? Oh my God, it's Fred. He's still lurking around. I haven't seen the pink penguin. I have no idea where that pink penguin went. No idea whatsoever. I mean, it stands out like a sore thumb, so I don't, I don't even know. I can't remember what we called that one. <laughs> I can't remember in the slightest what we called that one. Uh, right, so let's save it. I'm going to save it a few times just to make sure. Just take a while to save. I usually do save and then save as as well, just to be on the safe side, just in case there's any problems when we load back in. So we got like the multiple saves. Uh, okay, save it as Valhalla. Let's go fill this pond up with water. Also means I can fill up my little thing in the marketplace with water as well. I wanted to get some water in there. 
Was there anywhere else I needed water? Don't think so. I think that was it. I'm pretty sure there was somewhere else. Oh, I think maybe in the little forest grove area I wanted some uh, water. Oh, this is taking a long time. Come on. I don't want to click again because uh, I've got this. Oh, there we go. Windows thingy going around and I don't want it to go. Oh, your program has crashed. All right, so quit the menu. Okay, so there we go. All right, and let's give this a go. Um, I'm still not sure what. I think there's a, an Akai tree. Akai tree. Something along those lines. Probably plant one of those in the middle. Uh, but then I need to get loads and loads of oak tree seeds. Um, I think the little Viking E. Did that have oak trees? The island to the. Uh, I think it was the left of this island. I think that had uh, a few different varieties of trees on there, so I might go check that one out off camera, see if we can, can't can get any trees. I'm not sure why I got a chance to do that, probably hopefully at the weekend. Uh, and then I can show you guys, probably on Twitter, I'll show you guys if I manage to get it finished off off camera, which I usually do, because um, we'll probably be doing explore stream next stream, and I won't be on this save. I mean, I guess I could come on to this save to show you. Uh, okay, there we go, there's the thingy. Uh, right, let's have a look. Brush shapes. Probably be easiest with a square. Editing modes. Oh god. I definitely don't like this. Um, terrain types, water. Hmm. So I'm doing water. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is so randomly. It looks like goop. Like Saturday morning cartoon kind of goop. Kinda weird looking. Well, this area is gonna be nice and easy to fill. Let's change the brush to a different, uh, more curved brush. Let's see if that makes any difference at all. We're getting there. We're getting there. I wonder how thin this can go. Well, it's a sound on the wall. I never really played around with it. They've dug a couple of holes on the beach. But it looks so strange. I mean, maybe we need to dig out some more of this area around here. Quite possibly. Kind of like... I think it's that little bit that we just placed there by accident. <laughs> Looking a bit strange, to say the least. Not really too bad for a distance, but you get close to it. Yeah. This, yeah, I'm not sure about this. Kinda wish I did this in the editor now. <laughs> not gonna lie. A lot easier to undo. Yeah, I mean, I'll come back in the editor and uh, finish off the rest of this bit. Try and smooth it out and stuff. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I can probably. Uh... Oh yeah. Wait a minute. I can. Yeah. I think I can. Did I, I swear I just saw one. Actually, it might have just been a bit of snow falling. Now, I think the easiest thing to do would be probably to come back in the editor. It may be because I smoothed out this underneath bit, but I'll probably come back in the editor and dig it out again. Uh, should be obviously if I just select it to remove water I can easily remove all this again I think I'll do it in the editor this time because then at least the only problems that 
what the hell? <laughs> I got a I got a new pet. You unlocked pet slime. We were caught I might even leave that there. <laughs> we were caught oh wow. Actually the pet slime freezes you? Or is it because I stepped in this bit? Yeah. Yeah. I might even just leave that there for funsies. We'll <laughs> put a little pen around him. It'd be cool if we dye it a different colour. Anyway, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably come back in the editor and remove all this. Uh, maybe dig this out so it's more of a lip on it. And then fill it with water on the editor just to make sure. Because obviously I've got the undo button in the editor. So if stuff starts to go wacky, I can just click undo and it's all back to how it was before. Uh, so I think I'll do that. I'm not I'm not sold on this terraformer gun. I can see I can see its uses. I can definitely see its uses. But uh, I think I'm gonna leave the stream there anyway, guys, because my head is throbbing. Um, I think all the antibiotics are kicking in now, so I'm like pretty lethargic at this moment. Like I said, I've been pretty much sleeping 16 hours a day to like 20 hours a day. I'm off of them next week, so things should go back to normal. Thank goodness. Because uh, you have no idea how bored I am. <laughs> I love streaming. <laughs> I can't stream because I just get too tired doing it. I was getting kind of out of breath. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I probably... I can't remember. Let me just check. I, c I can't even remember why I put my schedule up. As that's, I d I've been trying to do some uh, day streams. Uh, yeah, so don't... Uh, i got Sunday scheduled for my time at Porsche. But, um, what was it? Unearned Bounty come out. I wasn't going to do it Thursday, but it was kind of having problems. And for some reason, the Steam page of it wouldn't even pop up. But I've got it downloaded now. So I'll probably do some of that. I don't know what time I'll do it at. Um, I guess just sometime during the day. Uh, I'm not going to plan it out just because I've been so all over the place. Uh, and thank you, Greb. I hope I feel better soon now. I should. I should. Like I said, I think next week we should be back to normal again. Uh, so back to mix of evening and day streams and a lot longer streams rather than just a couple of hours. But yeah, so I'll probably be back tomorrow with some unearned bounty and then we'll be doing Sunday. I'll be going through my time at Porsche because I haven't played that game all this week and I kind of love it to bits. So I hope you enjoyed it. We kind of got some little bits and pieces done. I'll get some more done off camera here and there when I get a chance. Uh, and then next week, well, actually, probably sometime. Yeah, sometime start next week. I'll show you what this looks like finished. Uh, but you kind of get an idea of what I'm going for here. Uh, and then we'll start working on some new buildings, which will be kind of cool. And then we can finally get this all sorted and done and out of the way. So I hope you liked it. Um... Oh, let me land because I forgot we can't use emotes in the air. Uh, also, this is like third person weird mode. So I will say bye bye.